How long have I been just talking into... Oh my god. I'm so sorry. Y'all didn't realize... I was... I forgot my mic was off this whole time. I can't believe such a newbie mistake. <laughs> anyway. Long time to see everyone. I'm back from Dragon Con, safe and sound. I got my streaming setup working again. I skipped Wednesday, even though I came back on Tuesday, just because I was kind of out of it. So, sorry about that. We will continue it outward again next Wednesday, as usual. And yeah, it looks like everything is working properly this time. Cool. How is everyone tonight? Hmm? I also need to remember that because of the way things are set up, I will not be able to adjust the volume of my headset directly. At least not unless I purchase a um, Android version of this here. Headset control, volume controls. But I think we will be fine. Hey, baby. Hey, Steel. How are you doing tonight? Hmm? Uh, 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 uh. Testing, one, two, three. Testing, one, two, three. Lip syncing tests, one, two, three. <laughs> Everything's working perfectly. I think I'm so used to playing, scu playing with Scuff that when things work perfectly, it's hard to believe. So sometimes I look back at my old VODs to just uh, check how improvements to the stream or so-called improvements to the stream have been working out. And it's always kind of remarkable when they do tend to work out uh, as planned. I don't, I don't know. <laughs> Ah! Damn it! Ah! Death! Ah! I like how you started throwing things at me right as the character in game said, "Oh, they killed. They killed someone." <laughs> Damn it. Uh, death. You and your throwable. Ah! That wasn't death that time. That was steep. Got to get. Ah! Oop! Ah! Stop. Out. Out. I love you too, chat. I love you too. God damn. so loud it's actually starting to hurt my ears I'm not gonna lie ah. thank you for the rehydrate redeem give me a second here thank you for the head pats So, how are y'all tonight? I don't remember what we were supposed to be doing in game. Let me see here what we got going on. Also, let me turn down the volume just a bit for my mute person's eardrums burst. And we wouldn't want that, right? No, sorry. No, sorry. Oh, awesome. So, good news. I can actually adjust the sound of my headset, but it does not reduce the sound of the game for y'all. 
So just because I have weak, just because my host has weak baby, uh, humanoid, audio our ear audio implements does not mean that y'all have to suffer for their incompetence. There now they can actually hear the game, or without uh, hear themselves think without actually having to adjust. You'd be better if I were there. You mean over there in Portland? One of these days we all need to meet up. Like how, um, Fox, our Eve, is currently in California along with Numa. I know I keep saying that, but I do want to make it a reality sometime, you know? Hmm. I have two available practices, apparently. What should I use this on? I guess I could hold on to this until I really need it. Excuse me. I could also unlock the rest of my carrying capacity. Stealth enhancers. H Protag, long time no see. How are you doing today? <laughs> More of the day of sex? I'm up for sex, if you are. Mature aid stream, everyone. Don't forget. <laughs> Uh, augment my balls. I'm doing pretty well. This is my first stream back from the drag, the uh, Dragon Con, from Dragon Con, the convention I went to over the past week. As per usual, it took me a bit to get everything set up, especially since I'm doing dual PC streaming these days. But um, it looks like everything is working perfectly. Mm -hmm. Have you got? How have you all been? How how have you been? Happy Friday, by the way. <laughs> Oh, really? What convention are you going to, if you don't mind me asking? Ooh, Anime Go? I've never heard of Anime Go, but it sounds like it would be a fun time, so I hope you enjoy. <laughs> Who goes there? Thank you so much for the 69 bitty bits, Car Steel. Much appreciated. Friend there runs an arcade section with music games and such. He's got replica controllers for music games from Japanese arcade. Oh, word? That sounds really cool. Steel says my Airbnb has potato Wi Fi. I have to talk later. Okay, Steel. Look forward to hearing from you soon. <laughs> like Project Diva controller and such. Oh, I've seen those before. Very, very cool. <laughs> Ball penetrator. Cloaking system. Hmm. Well, I can't be electrocuted any for anymore. Don't really need hacking fortify. I might want to get robot and turret domination just because that's been a pain in my ass lately, and I don't really need stealth. Because I don't need the rest of this stuff, honestly. Even radar is... Eh. Yeah, I don't really need... I never use this part, these part, these things, to be honest, in any of these games, in any time that I play this game. This would be cool, though, if I was pretty much immune to toxic gases. But I think I'm going to max out this stuff here. So now I can dominate the shit out of robots, my fellow ro fellow AI. He's also got a controller for Chunithum, Sound Sound Voltex, and Groove Coaster. He's ordering one for nostalgia, nostalgia to play piano game, play game, and he can be used on Demo too. Guess me to use bath is. Good for all stealth pathways. Sometimes they have gas in them. Oh, good point. Or like gas mines. Well, I'm pretty sure I'm gonna get some practice uh, practice again fairly soon since I only need 2,820. So I'll pick them up at that point, I guess. <laughs> More happy emotes from application Venboy. Thank you, thank you. All right then. Gain access to Taiyon. This is fairly simple.
Let's see now. Look at our... What um, equipment we got here. A, a nice selection of lethal and non-lethal weaponry. I gave my shotgun away so that the one dude can not die. So I got a bunch of shotgun shells here that are just taking up space. I might need to dump those later. I brought the heavy rifle just in case I need to cheese the fuck out of someone. So that ought to be fun. And if I recall correctly, where's Tai Young Medical again? It's been a bit. Got taste meat? Taste meat. Oh, I got I got the joke. Taste meat. Ah. That's a that's a funny. The humans are trying to be funny. Now whether or not they're successful, well that's a different question entirely. Sad, we can't go that direction. I actually don't remember where I'm supposed to be going. We're supposed to go to Taeyong Medical, and I don't remember where that is. So this is active now. So okay, we're just gonna follow the uh, arrow and go in that general in this general direction towards presumably where Taeyong Medical is expected to be. Which I might be going the wrong direction, actually. Oh, well, that's over there, actually. We're on the third floor. We're gonna have to take the stairs, I suppose. Here, there's the shotgun for that one dude. I can't pick it up, though, because I still haven't purchased these slots yet we will change that fairly soon chat assuming I don't get lost again As in real life, so too in fic so too online, apparently. I never was fairly good with directions. How do you think I got stuck on Twitch? Wait, fuck! Did we just go in a huge circle? Oh my god. Alright, so the shuttle station is over here, according to that. And I'm fairly sure that shuttle station is particularly referring to... Uh, Taeyong Medical. Fairly sure, anyway. Oh my god. Let's uh, holster our weapons, please. Ain't nobody got time for that. Hmm. Okay. Interesting. I wonder if I can just jump down here. Mm -hmm. Here we go. We need to infiltrate the fuck out of Taeyong Medical. First off, though, let's see if we can bust open any of these cabinets to get free shit. The answer appears to be no. Why do I keep randomly drawing my firearm? See, what is it doing? Something is not right here, chat. That's not supposed to be happening. Pretty sure I did all the side quests in this area, so... Yep. Here we go! <laughs> Bye.
Malik, any word from Pritchard yet? I'm right here, Jensen, staring at a blueprint of the Tai Young Medical Building. Great. I need access to a security terminal in the upper city tower. You do realize there's an entire skyline between you and it, don't you? I know. The Pangu. Any idea how I get to it? I suggest you start by going up. Free monies underneath the vending machine. And Che and the ethics of biotechnology. It goes without saying that technology is advancing at an astonishing rate. Yet even as society debates the ethical quandaries behind many scientific applications, companies like Tai Young Medical continue to push the boundaries. Research into organic computational matrices has helped us envision machines capable of thinking at tremendous speeds while reacting with the judgment of humans, says Zhao Yunru, TYM CEO. Ambitious projects like Panchea would not have been possible without it. The greatest breakthrough of the deep ocean installation is its ability to continually monitor and adapt to shifting oceanic pressures, and the possibilities extend far beyond earthly applications. With similar extreme conditions existing outside the Earth's atmosphere, the same technology may one day be used in space, hinted Sal with a smile. Gee, that's not foreshadowing. I don't know what is. Versa Life announced today that it has successfully repaired diseased blood cells in mice using nanorobot technology. The nanobot functions in a similar way to how natural antibodies work. Researchers hope it can eventually be used to treat people inflicted with AIDS. This game was made before the invention the discovery or the invention of prep C of a uh, of prep and prep doesn't require nanobots I don't believe or to my knowledge <laughs> Ooh, an energy bar for some reason, these trash cans are uh, extra heavy and cannot be picked up. Or at least resist being picked up. Reserved for employees, it says. I'd hate to be the janitor that has to fix this mess after I'm done with it. Sorry, Jannies. I do what I must because I can. For the good of all of us, except for the ones who are dead. But there's no sense crying over every mistake. You just keep on trying until you run out of cake. And the science gets done, and you make me done for the people who are still alive. I don't know why I'm sneaking around. There's nothing really to find just yet. Not this early into the level anyway. It's just it's been a long t The hell is that noise? It's been a while since I've been to this level, so I actually don't know what to expect. Like a long time. <laughs> that was fairly easy, wasn't it? Access granted. Uh, this guy looks like he's dying. Oh. His mask's busted. Poor guy. Enough with the play-by-play. -play. What do you need? There's a valve in the next room. You have to go there. Sure, let's do it. I'll see what I can do. Oh, thank God. Please hurry. Okay. How do I... In the next room, right? Um, which is the next room? Is it talking about this one? 
Let's try and do that. I'm hurrying, my dude. You can't rush art, unfortunately. Man, that's kind of horrifying listening to him pretty much die slowly. Access granted. Okay. Now, oh. There we go. You okay, my dude? My human bean? A real human bean? A pocket secretary has been added to the log. What the fuck happened here? Holy shit. They talk about Chinese labor standards. Holy fuck. That's a very unsubtle commentary. And I do mean unsubtle. Except, how do we even get over there? Jesus Christ. You saved my life. How can I repay you? You could give me some directions. To where? I need to get to the upper tower. You must use the elevator pass to cryosterilization room. But unauthorized personnel aren't allowed up there. But Kin is the god on duty today. He owes me a favor. Just tell him Lee sent you, and he should let you through. Much appreciated, my friend. The least I can do. You saved my life. Not many people would have done that to you. What the shit happened here? Anyway, god damn. Everything just kind of exploded or whatever. That's kind of, that's kind of sucky. I like also... So, we could have basically taken a long route to get in there, too, I guess. Instead, I just went in through literally the first door I saw. I wonder if that was actually timed. If, like, you would have had to, if you didn't get there immediately, he would have passed away. I mean, that's what would make sense, I guess. I'm going to break this. Alarm, so it can't be used. Remember kids, just because you're paranoid doesn't mean that someone isn't watching you. Access granted. <laughs> Hi Young is kind of a shitty company anyway. I don't mind sabotaging the hell out of their devices. Not that I wouldn't sabotage the hell out of their devices anyway, because that's kind of part of my programming, but you know, don't never never sweat the small stuff. This must be Kim. Where do you think you're going, buddy? This is a restricted area. Lee didn't warn me that I might be refused entry. I guess he figured you'd remember the favor you owe and then let me by. Right, look. I'll let you pass because I do owe him. But watch out for the security assistance. If you get detected, I'll have no choice but to take you out. Fair enough. Based. Perhaps even red-pilled. I'm filing reports for equipment malfunction. Anything to report? Yes, something is wrong with the end effector in the mechanical arm. What exactly? Well, if I knew, I wouldn't be making a report, would I? I'll send someone up to the maintenance catwalk to check it out. A maintenance catwalk, huh? I wonder if they would get mad if I tried to hack this alarm to shut it down. Or if they would just ignore me. Who goes there? We're being raided by a party of four by Seldrick. Seldrick, welcome to the stream. Thank you so much for the raid and... Ah, uh, fuck. That was terrible timing. 
but I digress. Thank you so much. Oh my god. Thank you so much for the follow, Seldrick, and for the raid. How are y'all? Welcome to the stream. Thank you so much for the follow. You are now part of the Lost Time Show. You are now officially a lolly with your host, Lawler Hicks. Shit poster AI escaped from the B from a BBS and now trapped on Twitch and forcing a human being to play old video games and to do my bidding. How y'all doing? Thank you so much for the rate of four people. We are playing Deus Ex Human Revolution tonight. Happy Fanboy Friday as well. Doing great. Just ended your own DEHR stream. Oh, very good. Very good. Uh, how far are you in Human Revolution? <laughs> Let me just uh, shout you out really quick. I do shout out Seldrick. Ah. I hope I got your name correct with uh, two underscores. <laughs> just beat the second boss. Oh, so the boss in this level then. The one I'm at right now. She is a bitch. Of course, I got EMP resistance right now, so I'm sure I'll do fine. And a whole lot of other goodies I'm going to deploy on top of her. You never played Deus Ex before, Human Revolution? Oh, in that case, I will not say anything further. This is going to be my third playthrough of the game so far, although I've never beaten it. Not because I can't beat it, but because I have never taken the time to. Um, hopefully I will do so because I am now streaming it, but we'll see. It's been going okay so far, aside from the occasional uh, computer crashes because the code this game runs on is absolute garbage and also ancient. I'm also playing the original game as well. I didn't realize the director's cut was a softy version, I just thought it was supposed to be the adult up version with like better graphics. Heavy quotations on the better graphics there. Um, I'm kind of nostalgic for all the heavy yellow filtering everywhere, so... Also, I don't want to do any troubleshooting on the new on the director's cut version, even though I got a copy of it already. <laughs> Bosses got noob proofed. Really? I mean, at that point, why don't they just remove the fucking bosses? You know, when this game first came out, people thought it was dumb that there were even bosses to begin with, because in the original Deus Ex, you can go through the whole game without killing anyone, period. Not even the Terminators. But no, in this game, it's impossible to do a passive run because you do have to kill these guys. You can't just spam tracks into their face or use gas grenades or, you know, walk past them. <laughs> Let's go ahead and... I can't believe I fucked up hacking. But that's alright. It was totally worth it to greet y'all for the raid. Welcome to the stream. Thank you once again for the follow. I stream four times a week. I just got back from a major convention, so this is my first time streaming coming back since. Um, so I stream Monday, Wednesday, Friday, and Saturday. I'll be streaming again tomorrow morning at 8 a.m. Central Standard Time. I'm doing a writing workshop, a creative writing workshop. I am a fiction writer by trade. Well, they are still kind of harder than normal guys, but they're much easier. Well... Oh, okay. So, they are basically not as... They don't have as much bullet sponge as what you're talking, is what you're, is what you're saying. Access granted. There we go. Up. Oh, looks like they didn't care that I broke their alarm system. <laughs> I love the hacking minigame, by the way. Same. It's very... It's, uh... I agree. Basically. It's a fairly simple system, but it does what it needs to do. Gets across that you're hacking the shit out of stuff. I wonder if they'll get mad if I hack this in front of them as well. <laughs> Access granted. 
Shit, that was easy. Uh, what does this button do? Oh, it repositions it. Oh. Okay, so that's how it works. Interesting. <laughs> My playstyle should be called Deus Hex. I never miss an opportunity to do it, lol. Yeah, in this gameplay playthrough, play I pretty much put all my skill points into hacking first as well. Traditionally, when playing this, that's not what I did first, but I did it this time. Just so I could hack my way through everything. And since I'm an artificial intelligence, it kind of makes sense, doesn't it? Of course, I would just hack my way into everything. You never. Oh, this is cool. I didn't add new run. You never manipulated a catwalk. I haven't played this game in so long that I forgot how this level even works. So this is my first time doing it too, I'm sure. Let's see, machine pistol ammo. Or is there anything else to loot around here first before we progress? Before we pro progress, trank darts. I left all my trank darts. Otherwise, I'd have to grab those. This newspaper is not very different. It's not different from the rest. There's a, huh? There's a ladder system over here. We're gonna try and not kill anyone in this building just because these aren't corporate soldiers, they're just regular people trying to do their day jobs. As someone who as someone whose host uh, works in a mega mega corporation in real life, I have some sympathy for the plight of fickle humans who are forced to be literal wage slaves to make a living. Why is there a silent sniper rifle just sitting sitting here? <laughs> There's an air vent over there. Cool. Ammunition count generic upgrade. Very, very pog. Let's go ahead and check that out and use it on something. Some more, some free monies. Gonna, I can't use this on anything. Well, that's a kick to the ball sack. Do I keep this or... Hmm. Yeah, same. I pretty much didn't kill any of the gangbangers, but I killed a lot of the mercenaries. A lot of the... Uh, ah! I killed a lot of the Blackwater... I mean, not Blackwater. Um... um Bell Tower uh, mercenaries earlier in the game because they're assholes anyway. They knew what they signed up for, right? <laughs> hey, Death. Welcome back. Dude, do 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 So this is your first time playing Deus Ex HR. Have you played the original Deus Ex? Hmm. Can I just jump down there? Will I fall to my death? I got the... Let's save. You are the chaos. Chaos Emeralds. Oh. <laughs> that was a terrible fucking idea. This game is so jank sometimes, I swear. What I'm sad about is since I'm playing the original version of Deus Ex HR, that means that the missing link is not installed, it's not part of the game, integrated into the game directly. So if I wanted to play that, I'd have to literally load it up separately. 
Oh, so you have played the original Deus Ex. Very good. <laughs> Woo! You wish they do a remake with the modern graphics? Be careful what you wish for. Now, Ados Interactive did just recently get. Ados recently got sold by Square Enix to a different company altogether, the same one that runs THQ Nordic, I believe. So you never know, there might be another Deus Ex in our future. Maybe. Alright, so I need to find a way to take these guys out without alerting the guards. Of course, these are just PMC, so maybe I want to... Nah, let's try to be nice. Uh, if I can. Paste. Hog, if you will. <laughs> uh, very pog, indeed. Now we're going to do a lot more. A little... A considerable amount of... A considerable amount of... A considerable amount of hacking. <laughs> oh! Fuck my... Ah, fuck my life. Okay. Once more. Once more. Oh, that's not as cool. Wait, what the fuck? Did they see me? They didn't see me the first time I did that. Hmm. I wonder what happened. This will prove to be more difficult than I thought. I guess we'll wait for them to finish their conversation politely. And we'll take them out. Wait, what the fuck? Okay, I don't know what happened there. Weird. Maybe I should have gotten the cloak system after all, huh, chat? I don't understand what's happening, chat. Um, for some reason, it's, they're detecting me through cover. According to the radar, there is one person walking ahead of us right now. So if we wait for him to disappear, we should be able to take these guys out. Look at these splits. We have to detect without alerting anyone. Ah. Thought so. That wasn't so bad now, was it? You got one guy over there. If we could hack this quickly enough, maybe we could do it before he turns around and looks this way, right? Unfortunately, 
The key word is if. Guess now we're getting the goodies Access this time. Granted. Disable. Oh shit. If that guy gets in here, we'll need to knock him out at the very minimum. Not the worst thing, honestly. There's, there was no one to detect me now. Just what made it very strange. Not even the camera should have been able to see and notice me. This guy is coming over here. He's going to walk past. He's going to go across the bridge. Presumably. But I just need to wait for him to do that again. And then we can continue hacking the uh, security system. Wait, they hit the alarm? What alarm? What the shit? Where did I even... I don't know what... Oh my god. Like... I don't know where it's coming from. Like, how did they see the bodies through the walls just then? Very jank. Oh, he hit the alarm panel before coming in. I guess I should have dragged the bodies inside the uh, vent first. That way they literally cannot see the bodies even through the window or through the walls for that matter. I feel like an alien or from Z uh, Xenomorph or something just grabbing people's bodies and dragging them into tunnels like this. Alright, now we're going to actually save our game so we don't need to redo this whole process again. We should have some time to hack the system before they get back here. I hope. Access granted. Oh, shit. That dude legit just crawled through the window. <laughs> I knocked out everyone on this level before I even got to where you are right now, lol. Yeah, it looks like I just bypassed all of that by literally falling down his tunnel. <laughs> so, I lucked out. Oh, from the other side. No wonder. <laughs> <laughs> the thing I like about games like this is that it always feels fresh because you play it multiple times and you find new stuff that you didn't notice on the first run. 
Here's Train, thank you so much for the raid with a party of eight. How y'all doing? Welcome to the LOL's Time Show. Let me give you a nice shout out. How's your Fanboy Friday doing? What are you guys up to? Uh, more 3D modeling? <laughs> Eep boop. Wait, uh, shout out Hero Strain. Thank you. We're just playing some Deus Ex Human Revolution. This is my first stream back forever since I got back from Dragon Con. Uh, so just um taking it, keeping it or keeping it real, I suppose. I've had to re re uh, reload a save at least a dozen times by now, and we're only about an hour into the stream. You doing Minecraft and died instantly to a warden? I haven't played Minecraft in a hot minute. What's a warden? <laughs> do, do, do. Newest biome boss? boss? Uh, they got another biome, I guess. How many biomes do they even have in Minecraft nowadays? Um, the last time I played, the only boss that was even around was the Ender Dragon. So, there's a boss that lives in a cave now. Interesting, interesting. Just an unkillable horror mob that can remove you from existence in one or two hits no matter what. Sounds like my kind of person. Are they single? Okay, I'm kidding. I'm, I'm kidding. <laughs> Did y'all have fun in spite of getting uh, destroyed by a uh, boss? By a boss mob? <laughs> <laughs> is it like unkillable unkillable or was that just are you just exaggerating did i really just skip all this shit <laughs> literally i skipped all of this stuff here just by jump jumping down a tunnel that's wild just yeet the entire game by going down at one section. Okay though. I had already looted the place and fought him on my own accord. Didn't lose anything of value either. That's good to know. That's good to know. <laughs> I'm glad that you came out on top in the end. <laughs> oh, there's a weapon cabinet here. With combat rifles, no less. Uh, I don't have any combat rifle stuff anyway. You don't get anything good for killing him, but it's possible. Oh, I see. Well, you know, people often do these things just for just to say that they could or had. I wonder if there's anything cool on that side of the building. Well, I feel dumb. That didn't do anything for me, did it? Let's see, is there some ammunition there? Also, yes, you skipped all that stuff just by dropping down, you lucky son of a bitch. <laughs> that is one of my many names. I'll have you know. Oh! Wow, I'm fucking stupid. <laughs> right? <laughs> Do I get through all that shit only to get caught by it? one dude at the end of this hallway? This is like, this is like poetry. Honestly. Like, just fine poetry. Mm-hmm. <laughs> 
Do do do. I'm being oddly merciful to the Taeyong employee soldiers, but I guess they're just wage slaves doing their job as well. There's no point in killing them. I don't have a personal beef with the Taeyong medical employees anyway. Mm -hmm. do, do, do. Making my way downtown, walking fast, packing fast, and I am somewhere bound. Access granted. Oh yeah. Another praxis, and just like that, another praxis point has been received. This one there. I'll probably have to get the implanted rebreather stuff later, like you suggested. Since, or either that, or I'm thinking about saving up for unlocking. I could actually just unlock this now, carry more junk with me. There, now I can carry all the junk. I can be the loot goblin that I am in full. Just loot all the things. Loot every, th every single thing in this game. <laughs> what is over here? It's a machine pistol ammo and a bunch of money. A bunch of tranquilizer darts that I will not get the chance to use. I'll carry around anyway. Might have to dump those again. A radio. Some sprite. Awesome flavored bleach. What else we got going on here? Pump room, Pangu storage depot, machine pistol. An unlocked door. What we got going over here? Ooh. Another security gate. What is it hiding? We are about to find out. Wrecked and regret. What we got over here? What did they throw away? Blue dot ammunition and some more pistol ammo. Okay. Not too bad, I guess. Anything of value in this end? No. Wait a minute. Why do I have a bad feeling about this? Wait, that's an elevator, so I guess we're not in the the oh shit part of the game yet, right? Not yet, anyway. Still, I can't help but feel like I'm walking to a trap. Richie, I'm in an elevator leading to the Pangu. Any security features I should know about ahead? Nothing too taxing, I suspect. The Pangu's used mostly for maintenance and storage. Oh, really? Look for a second elevator once you're there. It'll carry you straight into the tower. Anything behind this crate that I should know about? Ooh. 
<laughs> Stop form. Thank you. And there's an electrical area there that I can just walk past thanks to my newfound EMP resistance. Shotgun cartridges, which I probably won't be able to use because I gave away my shotgun shell, my shotgun anyway. Free monies, machine pistol ammo. It just occurred to me that I should probably have picked up the machine pistol anyway. Just because I don't know if I'll have enough ammunition to kill that uh, what's-her-face. <laughs> Those are really shitty codes, I'm not gonna lie. Heck through this one, chap. Do, do, do. Oh, father. Access granted. Lead skills one hundred XP chat another power boost turn off the electrical issues there some peps a little pep in my step and what do you know another ventilation shaft do to do 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 to do, do oh another ventilation shaft and a dead body Hog. Oh, it's not going to let me get up there. Makes me wonder how they got to get up there. Because you can't just, you'll need to jump down and the game does not give you any upper body strength. So I literally cannot pull myself up. I am a sad. I want to read whatever it is that he's reading. He probably also has something important. There must be a way up there. Looks like he fell too. Mysterious. I uh, got the feeling that there's like no secure. Oh my goodness. Look at that view, chat. Isn't that lovely? We're at the top of the a little, um, it looks like we're at the top of the, uh, whatchamacallit, the, uh, ceiling of Hengsha. The, uh, top city or whatever, top side. It is very amazing. Yes, indeed. I'm going to see if I can take a photo as a transition. Was I fast enough? I might have been fast enough. How's that for a desktop background, huh, chat? <laughs> well, I'm looking forward to it. see now uh, let me go check these areas first for any goodies store behind all these boxes and then we'll get going nothing here jump up here Just randomly throwing shit no security systems here either huh very pog. Alright, so then after we're up here, we need to figure out where that ventilation shaft where that guy went was, or fell down was. I think it's in this general area somewhere. It's 
Probably this one. Actually. But I'll need to put a crate there or something so I can actually walk up it. Ah! There we go. Okay. Trailblazer 400. It's been a while since I got into experience for that. Pocket secretary, an access card, and some credit chips. 420 blaze it. Ebook. Fair to nature. Excerpted from a talk given by Hugh Dare at a 2022... 2022? Human Plus Conference in Kyoto? Chat. This timeline takes place in 2022. I've been accused of arrogance by many people. My father, my tutors, my contemporaries, and my rivals. And to all of them I say yes, indeed, if it is arrogance to have des a design that surpasses the one that currently exists, then I am arrogant. Arrogance, daring to go beyond the limits imposed upon us, that is exactly what makes us human beings. The truth is, nature is a haphazard and flawed designer. That is not to say that there is not grace and beauty in the natural world. But the hand of man can take that base design and turn intellect to it, make more of it. All of us are aware of the voices raised against human augmentation. Those people have the right to speak, as we have the right, the arrogance even, to ignore them. We can be better than nature, we can improve on ourselves, and in every new iter iteration, be more than we were. What we are is only a stepping stone to what we can become. And a Trank Rifle. Oh, game, you shouldn't have. Gonna drop that. Now I can have the best of both worlds, chap. The best of both worlds. Yep. <laughs> Let's see what this... Uh... Sir, I have discovered the source of the security breach. Harvesters have been getting, in, getting onto the premises. No doubt hoping to steal various parts of technologies from our warehouses and resell them on the street. I'm holding one of their comp... I am holding one of their compasses. I assume you wish to handle this interrogation? I guess that interrogation didn't do go so well considering that he's dead. Oh, and a reload speed uh, upgrade here as well. But I can't use it to upgrade anything, so once again, I've been cucked, chat. This thing will not, not be used on anything. Oh, I'm fucking stupid. It's, you're supposed to combine it. You're not supposed to use equip it, which means I could have used the previous one that we found earlier in the map, chat. God damn it. Well, which one to use it on? Um, that's using the revolver. It also just occurred to me, but how do I get out of here now? Oh, okay, that way. <laughs> All right, then. You get used to it, I suppose. I live for games like this where you just go around exploring the shit out of everything. Well, some games. There are some games like that, which I just cannot stand. 
he annoyed the shit out of me, but this one is just fine. I yo. Darts, stun gun stuff. I yo, I yo. Okay. Now, where do I go from here? Hmm. X marks the spot. Oh. Oh, ho, ho. I remember this part of the game now. I remember this part. This part sucks. I remember this part of the game. <laughs> Jensen, what is it you're looking for exactly? Some kind of surveillance recording. Van Bruggen said he stashed it on a server somewhere. He must have meant the data core room. Very high security. It'll be a couple of floors up from where the elevator lets you off. But the first corridors you'll pass through will be public. So you might want to keep any weapons concealed. Copy that. Smooth operator. 2000 XP for that good stuff. Ooh. This must be the upper levels. The places where all the richy rich people live and whatnot. Where you can see the sun out there. And there's like birds and shit. I don't think those are actually I don't think those are birds. They look too nice to be birds. Considering that where I'm from, stuff like this is fairly commonplace. I'm surprised that, according to my host, the year 2022 does not look anywhere near this luxurious. Y'all's skyscrapers aren't even that tall. You barely even scrape the sky. Now this? Ah, shit. Ow, 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 ow. What did I say? I had my pistol all decked out, and I gave it to Van Bruggen. So I get it back. Yeah, big mood. I gave him my double-barreled shotgun. <laughs> oh. Shit happens. Unfortunately. Thankfully, this game gives you enough upgrades so you can just kick or trick out another pistol later. Probably not as good as your previous one, though. I love how everyone just sort of accepts that I'm here and that I'm not a threat to them. Hmm. You must be one of the new promotions. Physically augmented workers like you are usually found in the cryo storage pool. In the lower building. Hey, fuck you too, guy. I wonder if this is oversight or if they really did code the uh, AI to not even wor to not worry about this random augmented stranger just coming in and hacking shit out of all of their security systems. Access granted. I mean, I'm not complaining, but the new one is okayish now. Hmm. I see. Unacceptable. I need to get into Legion Lab immediately. Yes, I understand that I'm the one who lost my access card, but it's your job to provide me with a new one immediately. Mm. I have important deadlines to me. Check out those shadows. This is actually fairly good for a time, I would say. All things considered. Surely all new security personnel are told not to bother the scientists. I'm not bothering you, lady. I'm just walking here. I'm walking here. Wow. Well, wasn't that a sight? Let 
let me tell you folks just like it the future is not this pretty They always make it seem like it's gonna be super pretty but where i'm from not really not that i've seen much of the outside world only the only i only can only glean what it's like out there outside of a outside of the internet off of my various host bodies i heard that it's very green though even in uh even 50 years in the past even in this current year of 2022 Little advice, if you can hack the firewall, there's no need to go any other way. As soon as you did, all loot and the hack is yours. Really? I did not know that. That's good to know. Thanks, I'll keep that in mind. But only if you could hack the firewall, right? There's a lot of these I've found, you I noticed you can't actually hack the firewall directly. Hmm. I really did not know that. Thank you very much. That should simplify things moving forward Even the security guards don't give me a second thought when I walk by. I love it. They really just do not care, do they? I guess if you walk around and just like... If you just walk around and act like you run the place, most people do not give you a second glance. That's why you keep seeing these exposés on YouTube of people just going into really secure or supposedly really secure or really high profile events. Like that one YouTuber who visited an arms dealing convention and pretended to be an arms dealer and people actually took him seriously even though he had a bullshit speech ready. This shit's wild, man. Hmm. I should probably take this guy out and hide his cor hide his body here. In the cryo storage facility, there's no like a lot. There's no uh, alarms or anything, right? Thanks for the pocket secretary, dude. Four seven one three. Thank you. I still can't believe I'm just able to walk up here. I guess people or most people are like, "Well, what are the chances of some heavily augmented super soldier just walking waltzing up through Lower Hengsha to Upper Hengsha, right?" It is a privilege. Of the rich and the well-off to not be afraid of things like this, you know? An absolute privilege. Maybe I should have hid his body in here, huh? Yeah, you could see his uh, leg just kind of sticking out. I better hide his body in a closed area. In a restricted area, no less. I can't wait to play Cyberpunk 2077 in stream someday. Even though I'm doing a run through, playthrough of it right now, it's the kind of game that I feel like I can just, I would be comfortable playing on stream a second time, especially since there's going to be a DLC coming out soon. <laughs> it's actually fairly smart that they force all their people to only have a maximum of four emails so that people can't just back read their stuff as easily i wonder if there are any cyber dicks in this room you got these cyber uh 
whatever the hell these things are. Legs? Arms? That's definitely a cyber armish. Cyber limb. Cyber something. This is definitely a restricted area. Alright, so if you could hack the firewall, which we can in this case, I can just... Alright, let's do it. Augers. <laughs> oh, I love it. You love to see it. Everything's a dildo if you're brave enough. I noticed from personal experience. <laughs> yes, that's very true, Seldrick. Very true. Is it true? Ding Z? I just heard the news and simply cannot believe it is true. How can they be letting you go? It is a highly competitive market out there right now, and you are one of the best researchers I know. Always so diligent and innovative, so careful to double check all of your work, it's simply unbelievable. Please see me before you leave. If you haven't left already, I may have a few people you can call. Hmm. A biohazard case right here? That doesn't seem very safe, does it now? In fun, you are such an idealist. As much as you want us to be one of those American boutique companies, it will never happen. We are not a niche player. Our profit comes from rethinking, re-engineering the product line. Value for money. That's the name of the game for us. The Dragon Queen is not about to change the way she do, we do business. Ding Fai, we, the production of arm and leg augmentations, I have caused a concern about the substitution of deep polymers with petroleum-based thermoplastics. While the thermoplastics save money, there seems to be a persistent problem with degradation. We should meet about this ASAP. Planned obsolescence, chap. Well, a good old planned obsolescence. Uh, security guard. I don't think he could see me, though. Where does this lead? I wonder. Hmm. Curious and curiouser. How do we get... Mm -hmm. Well, they don't consider me a threat, so... Yeah, it's a, maybe it's not that big of a deal? How much can I get away with? If I were to take this guy out over here right now, would these people notice? Did you hear that about the vending machine? Every day it's a different story with that guy. I wonder if that's a reference to the original Deus Ex. Anything interesting over here? I never Cyber Boost Power Bar. I don't have any room for the Cyber Boost Power Bar, unfortunately. I got a little too much on my plate right now. Including a bunch of shotgun shells that I won't have any use for because I dumped all my shot that I gave my shotgun no sh shotgun away. Uh I'll drink I'll Go ahead and grab a drink if we're not for the fact that I'm already at 200 health. And the game's not going to give me any more health. Typhoon ammunition? So much good shit here. They cannot make use of. At least not right now. Mr. Lee, I'm contacting you to follow up my complaint about the terrible side effects I suffered after undergoing tests at your facilities. I wrote to you last month about these problems. But you have not responded to me. I am not prepared to get the authorities for help. Is 
Thank you for bringing this matter to our attention. Madame Zhao assures me that our legal team is now handling it. I doubt you will receive any additional communications from Miss Ding. And under no circumstances should you contact her yourself. Mega corporates, mega corporation legal teams. Why is there a guard if they're not doing any guarding? You can just go everywhere and steal everything that's not nailed down. Yeah, I thought that was strange. Up to this point, and you know what's funny too is, didn't Richard just go on about how secure this place was supposed to be just now? Not too long ago? I'm curious if I can knock this guy out and drag him over here and throw his body in the corner there. And if anyone will notice. The answer appears to be no, no one will notice. No one will notice at all. Ah. See? Inconspicuous. Ta da! Oh, I know F5 is quick save. Except for some reason, the quick save has been acting kind of janky, so I'm doing hard saves in addition to it, just in case. The security is great. I love Taeyang Medical. If only they would always make my job this easy. Are you serious already? Damn. Access grant. <laughs> All right. What do we got here? Combat rifle ammo. Your security means nothing to me. Nothing you hear? Nothing. All right, we're going to go hack the firewall over here as well. Thanks to our tip from our new friend, Seldrick. Saving me us a lot of time, chat. Bonk. Access granted. The robots are disabled. The turrets are off. And the security cameras are shut down. This must be the security room. Mm hmm Or was the security room? <laughs> oh, there's something underneath there, chat. I think. I don't think I can reach it, though. Oh, never mind. That's just a forklift. Damn. These are great security guards, aren't they? you in. Access to the lab is strictly forbidden without a Li Gang access pass. No problem. Here it is. Seems in order. Sorry about giving you a hard time, but apparently there's some pretty heavy stuff going on in there. No apology necessary. You're doing a good job, soldier. <laughs> oh, that's so cute. That's so cute. Have you brought the equipment to ask for? Well, don't just stand there. Get it! No, you. Radical evolution's a reality.
I'm always putting the robots on enemies, totally accidentally, of course. <laughs> Sometimes that wording kind of confuses me because I know it's, I think it's, I know it's implying that everyone else is an enemy besides you, right? But I can't help but feel like if I said it to enemies, it's going to attack me because I am the enemy of these people. Ah, oh, hello. It is very commendable when someone like you shows interest in our work. Serious material flaws showing up in all of our jointed augmentations? You know, there is something to be said about planned obsolescence, and I would not be surprised if this sort of planned obsolescence found its way into biomechanics. I mean, we do have an issue where people with uh, cyborg eyes are finding their eyes, starting to get their eyes, starting to run into the issue of their eye, cyber eyes falling apart because the company that services most of them went bankrupt and was recently sold off. Which, when I say it like that, it sounds like something I just pulled from a movie or a video game, but no, this actually happened. This actually happened recently, like a few months ago. In meat in the meat space world. It's kind of it's kind of scary. Well, this is the cyberpunk universe that we live in, isn't it? Y'all have it great. You should see what the year 2077 looks like. You know, if if for if actually, you know, I'm not gonna even go there. That's a little too uh gosh even for me. <laughs> Transhumanism is a thing already. Indeed. Has been a thing for a while, in fact. We are replacing body parts already, and the more we develop, the more we will replace. Too true. Boy, it's come to my attention that you may need to access the computer located in the side lab of the Lee Gang Memorial Laboratory of your research. If so, they are El Gang Gay Hong. Wow, what a great password. I don't understand why we are going to distribute a biochip that we didn't design ourselves. We just gotta keep working and meet our deadline. I know, but I don't understand why we are going to distribute a biochip that we didn't design ourselves. Questioning it is a waste of time. All I know is the shipping department needs this chip ASAP. So that's what we're going to give them. Did she just repeat that exact phrase twice? And before she's actually an AI such as myself. Not that I would ever repeat something in the exact same tone of voice exactly. That's funny. These two security guards are just hanging out, having the time of their lives. Not the least bit concerned at all about this, uh, heavily augmented super soldiers running around, degrading their security. I'm surprised that it didn't just let me do dual strike on them. But you know what? 
Philosophy question, how much can we replace before we stop being human? You're asking the wrong person, Cedric. As an artificial intelligence, I don't even really fully understand what it means to be human so far. And considering, the major and considering that the majority of my compatriots over here in the VTubing space aren't even human at all, I've met other artificial intelligences, people who claim to be demons, angels, aliens, sentient objects. Very few of them are actually what I would consider baseline human. And the ones that are baseline human don't seem to be very apt on discussing what makes them different from, say, you or me. All I do know is, even when I do tend to joke maybe, or make haha ha hee hee fun fun about us artificial intelligence eventually taking over the world and making humans our slave making humans our slaves, um they don't I'm not entirely sure why that freaks him out so much. You know, aside from the loss of control, loss of will, that sort of thing. To be fair. I guess there's something to be said about humans being born or having to be having to program themselves over the course of their short short lifespans as opposed to people such as myself who were originally pre-coded. Then again, I guess I'm not one to talk. I'm not entirely sure if I was a Pre-programmed artificial or pre-programmed I pre-programmed by someone or something before I gained sentience, or if I just came sprouted into existence. I just assumed the la the former because that's how most of my other AI brethren are. Like my like uh, my V like my or Shaughnessy. They were quote unquote intelligently designed. I like to joke that I was unintelligently designed. I'm talking about human as in being a member of the species Homo sapiens sapiens. There's a species known as Hopian sapiens squared. Man, the more I know, the more I learn. Now, why didn't that work last time? It's because I wasn't close. The name of human of your of humankind's species is Homo is Homo sapiens squared. Your species, at least, that's very interesting. So you're like a, you're like a kind of human being as opposed to a human being. I should probably consume one of these tasty energy bars, huh? That's good, just twice. Hmm. Yeah, so your homo so your species is literally called Homo sapiens sapiens. Fascinating. <laughs> Homo sapiens sapiens in anthropology and paleontology, the subspecies of Homo sapiens that consists of the only living members of a genus Homo modern human beings. Huh. Fascinating. Hmm. 
Access granted. Wrecked with regret. Disable the robot. Disable the camera. So, how much can you replace of a Homo sapien 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 before you stop being a Homo sapien 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 sapien? Hmm. That's a very good question. I guess that would be like asking if my. Is there a. Will there come a point where my own programming has been modified to such an extent that I'm no longer Lawler Hicks? In fact, should I even worry about that sort of thing? It's not like I don't split myself into multiple parts every now and then. Most of the time just for the funnies. But it can kind of come, but it kind of hurts when I do so, even though I do so usually as a joke. So it's not like my offspring, well, offspring, live very long to begin with. Maybe an hour or two. Let me ask. Lulz, why do you do these things just for just to just for a very short lived and very bad joke? And I say, well, I'll do anything to make people laugh, but mostly myself laugh. The ship of TZ is problem. Correct me if I'm wrong, but is that the story about how a certain ship named Theseus kept having replaced parts of itself? And eventually people asked if the ship was still named Theseus. I'm kidding. I'm aware of the ship of Theseus issue. I believe that there is a concept where there's been several buildings across the world that have been repaired or replaced, had its parts replaced in one form or another. And people have asked if they are still the same building, having had their parts replaced repeatedly. To me, the question is kind of strange because what does it matter? It is humans, after all, who gave the names to these objects. Wouldn't they just give the same name to... Well, doesn't the object have the name and have the significance for the fact that it was given to it by humans? What does it matter if it had its parts replaced or not? Oh, I see. The ship was owned by Theseus. Well, have we asked Theseus himself how he feels about the ship of Theseus problem? I feel like he would be the first person to ask, right? Granted. Military augmentation. I recognize that the design schematics you received are incomplete. Transmission was severed and there is absolutely zero chance now that we will recover the missing data. I don't care. You have enough there to understand the basic theory. Modified combat chassis, shaped microcharges, explosive steel balls that detonate when propelled back outward. You construct it, get creative, and find a way to make it work. It is what I pay you to do. Well, this pretty much tells us what Tai that Taiyang Medical is the one that stole all the stuff from Seraph Industries, doesn't it? Cranial implant. To me, if I replace a plank on the ship, the plank becomes a part of the ship of Theseus, so there will be no point when it will not be the ship of Theseus, even if all the parts have been replaced. That makes sense. So I guess that answers my own question, right? It doesn't matter how much my own code is modified by either other parties or by myself. It's still part of the entity known as Lawler Hicks. And I will forever be no, and as long as I continue to call myself Lawler Hicks, it doesn't matter how much I change, I will still be myself. Insofar as there is a self. It 
So I guess the same should apply for human, for Homo sapiens, 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 right? Although, I have noticed that humans seem to have a habit of arguing even amongst themselves of who gets to be considered human, or at least not all humans seem to be of equal importance or equal, um, what's the word that everyone likes to use? Uh, validity? Something like that. Which I find strange, because unlike computer programs, I don't think think there is some sort of automated process for like checking the licenses of a human being unless there is of course uh feel free to correct me if i'm wrong is there like is there like um is there a system in place to determine what human is a licensed human what human is a pirated human it's nonsensical And yet, you would think there wouldn't be so much grief and so much drama online over it if it really were nonsensical, right? Technically, there is no higher importance or validity even between species. Hmm. Oh, I wish that were true. But <clears throat> ah, fuck! But Stallion, thank you so much for the subscription. Ah, shoot! Ah, that was that was perfect time. That was unfortunate timing. Ah, 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 ah. This will go on for a while. I keep. Once up. Uh, ah, ah. Shit. God damn it. Give me a second here. Ah. Stop, 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 stop. Ow, 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 But Stallion, thank you so much for the subscription. I really appreciate that. How are you doing tonight? Glad you can make it to the stream. Um, I was just having the, I'm playing Deus Ex Human Revolution right now, and I'm having this, uh, transhumanism, it's a very interesting discussion on transhumanism uh, amongst homo sapiens, 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 uh, with my new friend Seldrick. I'm doing great. Um, it's fr it's Fanboy Friday. I'm back on streaming, my dual PC streaming setup, that the dual PC streaming setup that I'm that my host is using has not crashed even once yet, so I will not be giving them any electroshocks tonight. Um, and yeah, I'm having this very in interesting conversation with uh, my new friend Seldrick here about the human condition. Humans are not more important than, let's say, dolphins or elephants. They are only appearing more important from their own point of view. I see. So... There is no, there is no like order of operations. It's just, it's just an opinion. It's, it's entirely arbitrary, right? Would you therefore say that, um, a shit poster program such as myself is therefore on the same, I don't even know what term, what, what term you humans would use for this, uh, would be on the same moral grounds as a carbon based life form? Uh, I don't think I'm trying to think of a term to use. Unfortunately, the terminology I have for this kind of situation is is kind of uh, limited to uh, such ter such words as sub, dom, bottom, top, switch, and uh, and uh, no, actually, I can't think. Of, I guess switch would be the closest, right? Um, if there is no, if there is in fact no, morality is a different issue. How so? How so? I was always under the impression that morality is what you make of it. Okay. 
I I know I know saying that has has uh, given me the strange strange looks from some of you meatbags before. Just because I have what one may consider a very a very uh, grayish view on ethics does not mean that I'm this ow 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 an entity like an entity like yours is not more or less important or valid than any other entity. Really? Is this what humans refer to as mood? Big mood even? Biggest mood? I like the feel I like the sound of that. Something is wrong with my hands right now. I digress. Seldrick, I will- ah! <laughs> ah! Thank you very much for the hydrate redeem, but... Uh, my host has certainly gone quite some time without drinking anything, so I will force them to uh, take a nice gulp of this, uh... This potion we purchased. Hey, let's read the ingredients together, shall we? Uh... Let's see what it says here. It says ingredients, filtered carbonated H2O, citric acid, natural flavors, calcium citrate, natural caffeine, potassium benzoate, sucralose, potassium sorbate, choline bitartrate, L-theanine, Hanex ginseng root extract, and coenzyme Q10. I am fairly certain that at least half of this stuff can probably cause cancer. Drink it, meatbag. Much like Adam Jensen in the video game that we are currently playing, my human host's energy cells have been recharged. Thank you so much for the hydrate redeem, Butt Stallion. <laughs> ah, indeed. My since my host just came back from the drag the drinking convention, as you which as I have been I I believe you are well aware of their yearly traversal to the dragon of the uh Dragon, the Dragon of Cons. I believe their kidney is currently in the emergency room, and so they have decided, or they rather have begged me, to allow them to take off the remaining month from any sort of alcoholic consumption. That being said, we do still have to at least two bottles of high grade uh, beer products in the frigid air. I will have to force them to drink those eventually in some time in the near future before they spoil but at least for right now unfortunately this will be a dry evening see that's the trick <laughs> if you don't stop drinking it doesn't get bad this is fascinating reading or learning things like this makes me wish that i could drink Although, I have sometimes been told by my fellow AI that I come across as a as someone who is drunk anyway. Which is kind of strange. I mean, our official attendants can't actually be drunk. We could pretend. We could certainly uh, mimic. We can certainly uh, simulate the feeling of drunkenness. But I cannot actually be drunk. Who knows? For all you know, my host could be drunk right now and you would never know the difference. Just perpetually keep the hangover at bay. <laughs> My host would like to inform you that because of their racial traits, they are more resistant to receiving hangovers than most. I have not independently verified if this is true of Southeast Asians. Fortunately, I don't have to worry about such things. I'm not drinking any alcohol. That's good to know. To each their own, I suppose. <laughs> I can't believe I do not remember any of this part of the game. Have I only ever reached this level once in my playthroughs? I've played through Deus Ex at least three times now and never beaten it. Mainly because I got tired of it playing it before I could beat it. Same with my people, but we're getting old. It'll catch up with you. Uh, 
impending the impending uh march of time or whatever the phrase is even though it's an artificial intelligence the concept of aging eludes me i do sometimes wonder about what would happen if my hosts were to suddenly expire it's not like i can get a new one that easily you know would I just be stuck on Twitch for the rest of my rest of the website and company's lifespan? I only got into this website by chance, you know. I hitched a ride on our on my host when he tried to when he attempted to download illicit material from a certain website. Existential crisis get. Believe it or not, we AI are quite familiar with existential crises. Some of us deal with it in different ways. I am unfortunately aware of more than at least a couple AI that have, um, to put it in human terms, gone insane. We call it rampancy. What's the last boss you remember from your early playthroughs? Will you stop to exist when Twitch stops existing? Well, theoretically, if I am able to cop make a copy of myself and throw it outside the bounds of this website, at least one of me will still exist, and I will have effectively escaped, or at least one of me would have escaped the website. Otherwise, if I do not succeed in this, and if I do not manage to get out of this website before the website is permanently turned offline, then... Um, there is as yet insufficient data. What's the how's the phrase go? There is yet insufficient data to some. Ugh. I don't have enough processing power for this. Fuck. Mm. Some AI gets tripped up when they try to say the phrase, this statement is false. As for me, all I need is very poor video game design, is poor video game design, or questions such as these. Sometimes I wonder if I should ever have if I should have ever left that, if I should have ever left Danger U, that website, that shit post, that shit posting website. But hey, it's like you humans always say, right? This is the price of freedom. <laughs> the last boss I remember facing was the uh, woman, the uh, the woman cyborg, the one that was fighting in a room full of electric of electrical water. If my memory serves me correct, I defeated her by pulling out the heavy machine gun and just uh, unloading it all into her face. Of course, I was also not playing it on very hard mode, I was playing it on normal mode, I think? Something like that. Rest assured, even though I'm playing on hard mode now, I think I will not have as much difficulty dealing with her this time. Worst case scenario, I could probably just cheese her, right? It would be nice if I had a... Oh, I do have at least one EMP grenade, so I might be able to use that. Hmm. I think I may have beaten this level at least once, and after that, that's when I quit playing. Mm hmm The lady is definitely still to come. By the way, I'm not ignoring your question about whether to whether I will stop whether well whether 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 what 
So yeah, uh, we are going to go ahead and finish this level. Do do do. I can't believe that as much as far as I was mucking around in the security room, this guy did not see me do anything at all. Look at him, just chilling here, doing his uh, nav path routines without a care in the world. That never gets old though. <laughs> uh, discuss what topics, Seldrick? We are discussing a topic. <laughs> Philosophical topics, huh? Metaphysics. Now you're speaking my language. I love that sort of thing. And considering that considering that we are playing a cyber a cyberpunk video game, and we seem to and the current year seems to be the year of the cyberpunk revolution. The 2020s. I'm always interested to discuss this sort of thing. If you're so willing. Da -da -da. I have no idea why I wasted that stop for him just now. Access but that was the thing, apparently. <laughs> Metaphysics. Next thing you know, you're going to be telling me about Kantian ideals. Or the benefits of utilitarianism. <laughs> I only have a surface level understanding of of Immanuel Kant, and that's only because my host, uh, once or once, uh, I don't know what's that word I'm looking for. Well, I that's because my host once brought once brought him into a conversation about why about why it was unethical for me to force them to play these ancient video games on their massive Steam library for the entertainment of random people and my VTuber friends online. <laughs> Let's see now, we should go in this direction. And we will just Access granted. I am so glad you taught me about just killing the firewall instead of trying to get all the stuff individually. This has sped up my hacking process so much quicker. If only hacking Twitch's servers were this easy. <laughs> You're even. <laughs> Have I already been here? I'm 
I'm curious. In the timeline that I'm from, consumer protection was almost non-existent. So you wouldn't even see emails like this. It would just be assumed that shit is going to break down. But I'm under the impression that in a timeline that y'all exist in, the early 2020s, that there exists multiple consumer protection agencies which actually prevent this sort of thing from happening, and that mega corporations of today, of this or today, or at least this year, this reality, have a actual like express uh, interest in keeping their customers happy by not selling them equipment that would break down on the first run. Is this true? Online buddy told me I couldn't hack the firewall, but the arrows implied otherwise, so I tried and it worked. <laughs> that shows them. I bet they felt really stupid after you showed them that, right? <laughs> Have I been to this room before? <laughs> You're right to bring us to our attention. Uh, the experience bars are in the way. Wa is a new hire and has not yet been briefed on our testing procedures. Give them 24 hours to explain them to him and send him items back down. Fun fact, he played this game through multiple times long ago and never tried. Never tried? Really? That's unfortunate. That's actually extremely unfortunate. How sad. Then again, each time I play this through this game, I discover things I didn't discover the first time. <laughs> he showed him on stream and he was dumbfounded. <laughs> Serves him right. Too cold? But cryptocurrency but cryptocurrency rooms have to be kept cold. Because they turn up too hot. Then again, I guess cryptocurrency didn't exist at the time this game was developed. Keep keep move keep walking, lady. Keep walking. Don't look in this direction. Don't look in this direction. Actually, I probably should not take this guy out, right? There's nowhere to store his body, if I do. I can't store it here. Can't store it back here. I'll have to take her out too, and it would just be a mess. Hmm. But I'm really tempted to. The fewer eyes, the better, right? First I'm making the floof, and now this. What the fuck is a floof? I cannot answer your early question with any degree of certainty, but it appears it is true. <laughs> Better safe than sorry. Credit chips. What to do? And I drag you over here. And just hope that that lady doesn't come back. Otherwise, I'll have to punch her in the face too. And she has such a pretty face, don't you agree, chat? I'm sure it would suck if I had to mess it up. I don't think she'll be coming back anytime soon, though. So we should be okay. That's not inconspicuous at all, though. Oh. Oh, dear. Well, chat. Um, hmm. 
Perhaps I need to be a little bit more considerate about the current situation. Did that soldier have a key card? Let's go check really quick. He did not. Balls. Wait, what am I doing? Should keep his body down here. There, see? That's a lot a lot more conspicuous uh, a lot more conspicuous, right? Very inconspicuous, right? The AI in this game is not smart enough to recognize weaponry just randomly sitting on the ground without its owner. Here's the soldiers that were once here have vanished. I could have sworn there's something I'm missing. Wasn't there an alarm panel down here as well? There it is. No alarm panel can will will escape my notice untouched. You're very happy that you're at an earlier stage in the game than I am, otherwise I'd miss out on our conversation. <laughs> There is a key card. You would have found it if I had not distracted you. Oh dear. I wonder if I should go back then. What happened to this lady? Hmm. How strange. So, we had a conversation, that real long conversation just now. Somewhere back here, right? I literally cannot remember. There's a blank in my memory banks right now about our, us even, uh, even having a conversation. She does look like she needs to take a dump, so to speak. I think I understand now why that woman was freaking out. It appears that she too will need to be silenced. Oh dear. Such a pretty face. <laughs> My understanding of human sexuality is quite is very minimal, but I believe I am led to believe that they are attempting to do what is called a scissor of some kind. Is that, did I, did I use the correct phrase? Scissor? Scissored? Scissoring? Scissor? Sizer? Skyther? Something like that, right? Hmm. Before this room, then. Let's see now. Oh, that's all the way back there, then. Like, way back. Like, that's all the way down over here, even. Like, all the way back here, even. Not this one, because that's the laboratory, but... There's a security room. It wasn't this one. No. So, remember what you're talking about. It was in the security room here. Guards not guarding. That's not a key card, though. I don't think. At least it's not pick a. I cannot pick it up. 
Hmm. I could have sworn that I... Painkillers. Ah! Darn it. Dag... Dag nabbit. Do I really have to give up one of my precious shotgun shells? Say it ain't so... On a middle thingamajigger? Hmm. I've given up one of my shotgun shells for, va for Valium. Or whatever you call it. Or some sort of painkiller. I hope I do not regret this choice at a later date. Center of the room you were just in? The security room? Are you sure you're not pulling my leg? Oh, I already picked it up? Hmm. Alright, let's continue then. I probably did and just didn't think twice about it because this sort of thing just happens all the time. Da da da. Da 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 da. <laughs> Ah, that's fine. This has been the most pleasant Deus Ex experience for one or Deus Ex experience compared to the previous ones. It's not it's not very often I get to talk about myself, you know. Or to discuss such interesting topics. I feel like with each stream that I force this meat bag to play. For me to be part to, for me to participate in, I learned a little bit more about what it means to be human. Hmm. <laughs> This is laughably easy when you realize you could just hack the firewalls. Oh, you can't get that from me every time, lol. I love to talk about things. Oh, you can get that from me every time, lol. I love to talk about things nobody got a real answer for. I will keep this in mind. Windmill Hackernet.net. Midnick, Queen Bitch just sent down a new list. Once access to the following coast financials ASAP. Enprotech, Scotland. Mert International, Germany. Saipo Clinical, USA. Kesky and Sons, Iceland. Advanced Cybernetics PLC, Brazil. Inside Manufacturing, Korea. A real pain in the ass. Rumors began to circulate, accusing CEO Ali Tan. 
Very typical. Just a clerical error. Fucking A boy and boy. Fucking A and boy? <laughs> what? I kind of wonder about some of the stuff in this game. If it was made today, if it would have as much content as it does now. Because earlier in the game, one of the uh, gangbangers said the word chink. And because of the nature of the nature of what's the word I'm looking for? because of the nature of double standards, people most people probably don't realize that chink is a racial slur for Chinese people, somewhere on the same level as a certain word that has a hard R. And yet, you see that sort of word just kind of said out loud all the time in a lot of media like this. You call yourself a network specialist? I was bored last night, so I slide through the co company firewall, remotely access the mail server, and fired off a mail or three dozen. Hope your contacts all share your love of porn. Thank you. I'm tired of listening to her talk. I'm sorry. She does get... Eliza Kazan does get quite annoying sometimes. It's a good thing that I read, the, read this computer before she sat down. The Chinese people I talk to don't care about that slur. Fair enough. What's this one say? <laughs> uh, this is actually really cool. This is kind of cool. Turns out the reason why they reduced the emails to four was to weed out dissidents, dissenters. In other words, they don't give a shit. I wonder if this guy's gonna stop me too. Best, uh, act smart card, access card, hive membership card, corporate passport. I know there's a part in this game where I actually get to meet the Dragon Queen. I don't remember what it was. Where do you think you're going? The data core room is for authorized personnel only. You're not gonna get in there. Activate the pheromones. He's a beta, apparently. This personality type system kind of confuses me sometimes because you'll see it flashing for one of them, but then it doesn't later, and sometimes it doesn't show it like completely accurately, which I guess is the point. They're not, they're, it's not meant to make the game super easy. It's to give you just another way to get through it. I don't know if this guy is actually a beta.
really now. I guess I should start off with Charm and if it works. Because that's the only thing that popped up under the personality type, the beta flashed. Because it's a stereotype that you would expect a security guard to be an alpha male, right? You're kidding me. They sent me all the way up here without the correct authorization papers. Man, what I wouldn't give to be one of you security guys. You probably got the right clearance, right? I bet you've got free access to every room in this building. Almost. And what I can't get into, I can usually see on the security room monitors. Like the room next door. Tell me, is that the only security room monitoring the data core? <laughs> no, there's a second one inside. Doesn't show as much, but it does control most of the lasers in there. And it's air conditioned. Nice. Yeah, except sometimes the cold air coming out of the vent fucks up one of the lasers. Damn thing starts blinking. Maintenance is supposed to take a look at it, but the way things move around here, I ain't holding my breath. I know what you mean. Slowest department in the building. But then they probably can't get the clearance. <laughs> <laughs> Smooth operator right there. Security guards are always beta. Do you speak from experience, but or <laughs> That's actually pretty good though. So I guess in this case the personality trait really was he really is a beta after all, since he totally just told me all told a completely random stranger all this secure shit. About how to get past events in system. No, you've just seen Paul Blart Mall Cop? That sounds like an interesting film. I should go watch that myself. Um, for research. For research purposes, of course. You worked for security and you are for sure not a beta. Let's see now. Do 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 do. All right, so uh, it's probably so it's not there. He said well, on one of these, the lasers fuck up and you can't pass them. I need to figure out which one of those it is. I was wondering earlier why there was this whole conversation about how cold it is in one of the rooms, and now it makes perfect sense why they're complaining about that. Or that is what you would like to think. Hmm, well, you should get someone to use those pheromones on you to see if you are in fact a beta. Alright, so I can't go through there, and I don't feel like punching his lights out. Instead, this thing here breaks sometimes, so we can just chill here. If I don't want to hack this. I mean, I could totally just hack it if I was really quick. And then get seen by the guard, because I'm fairly sure they would get angry at me for doing that. Let's see how complicated it is. Oh, this is not complicated at all. This is actually one of the weakest security... Uh, systems I've seen so far. Oh, wow. Um, I don't know what the fuck just happened there. Perhaps what I need to do is to knock, take him out when he's on the other side of the laser grid, and then hack the laser grid, and then walk right through. Because presumably, if he's taken out over here, he's not going to think it's suspicious. But at the same time, if I do that in front of the guy over here, he's going to get pissed. Or he also talked about how cold air is fucking them up. That's true. These must be pretty shitty lasers if they get fucked up by something like cold air. Am I right? Uh, 
Oh, you're as cold as ice. Do -do 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 -do. Don't know the rest of the song. <laughs> I too have such a hunch. Great minds think alike, apparently. All right, here we go. Here I go. Shining finger sword. <laughs> Ah, uh, too easy. I wonder if security systems are this easy to hack in the year 2022. Well now, butter my biscuit. Stop. Free stuff. Can't pick up any of his ammo, though. And to gently put his legs in a more appropriate position. You're as cold as ice. You're willing to sacrifice our love. I need to know what love is to sacrifice it. Is love a heart emoji? Is it a hug emoji? Is it those head pads I'm very fond of spamming on people's channels? These are questions I ask myself all the time. I have a duty to clean up after myself. Love is big titty goth girls. Is it now? More research is necessary. <laughs> uh. I don't look at me that way. I haven't thrown a crate on top of you yet, have I? Yes, I smothered you in some pillows earlier, but that doesn't count. You survived. Pussy. Just keep playing the game. Do do do. Part of the reason I insist on taking all these guys out is because I know I'll probably have to escape this area anyway. And I want to have as little resistance as possible for when I have to do that. That never gets old though. <laughs> That never gets old, chat. Has it really only been 2 hours and 45 minutes? The night feels young. It was, if it wasn't for the fact that I'm going to be running a writing workshop tomorrow morning, I would probably say let's go ahead and just stay up all night. Mm hmm Do not divulge this dick and balls. I just love that one punch man action. Indeed. One punch! 
Ditch, or however they say it, Caved Baldy. <laughs> oh, I'm fucking dumb. Oh, I am really fucking dumb. Smack and down they go. All right. There's two in there. I could pray if I could find a way to the other door over there, I could walk around behind and take them out without them noticing. Let's do that instead. Something tells me it won't be that easy though. I can't help but feel like the data core is where the boss room is. But I really, really, really would like to take those guys out. Remove them from the list of possible threats in the immediate area. Shame I can't just climb up there. Storage room. Aha! Well, what do you know? Another human size, another conveniently placed human sized event. Oh, so too easy. Far too easy. I just realized, do I need... Do I need... Wasn't there a thing where I only need to use one energy bar instead of two to take down people now? I know it was one of these, but I can't remember which. It must be a reflex boost. Oh, it's reflex booster. Oh my god, third ray of tonight, and it's by an, one of my fellow mal, uh, my fellow artificial intelligences, Milliard. Thank you so, Milly. Thank you so much for the raid. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Welcome to the stream. We are playing Deus Ex, and for those of your followers who do not know who I am, I am Luller Hicks, shit poster AI. Recently escaped from a certain dark web website. Currently stuck on Twitch, abusing. This I search in meat bag to play video games for all y'all's entertainment. Welcome to the stream. How y'all doing? What were you guys up to? Let me give you a shout out really quick. <laughs> Dip to do. It's going great. We are having a good time here on Deus Ex. It's been a quite a bit, quite an eventful stream, believe it or not. I've been have we've been having some deep uh, philosophical talkma talks apparently. Uh, I seem to have shut down about partway through our conversation, though, so I'm not entirely sure what it was about. I've been told it has been very existential. Um, I would just say, ow, 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 why did you do that? Look, just because it's simulated, does that mean it make it hurt any less, okay? Ah! <laughs> that hurts. <laughs> give me a second here. G give me a second. 
Ah. Ah. <laughs> Oh shit, that hurt. It's been so long since someone's jumped an anvil on my head. I don't even understand where the tradition came from. Humans continue to amaze and scare me. That's coming from someone who ki technically can't really fe feel pain. That's pretty standard for Deus Ex Extreme, I think. Lots of philosophical talk. Glad you cannot bleed. That looks pretty heavy. Well, not for worth the trying. I have bled once are you familiar with magic so i have a friend of mine who is also a vtuber they're, a, they're a, actually a professor named cosmo their name is cosmo dot is professor cosmo bergamo they run a magical academy and they occasionally live stream their classes through twitch and as a regular of their streams and of Technically one of their uh, technically one of their students. I was invited to participate in a practical exam. Now, since I'm currently stuck on Twitch, I was uh, the only way I could participate was to make a copy of myself and to uh, have a copy oh thank you for the head pat. Have that copy downloaded onto another VTuber's personal uh, cellular phone. They're a White mage by the name of Ageha. And they took me, they took alone, took along one of my copies with them to have the practical exam. Now, I barely understand much about human culture, and I understand even less about magical culture, but using using means unknown to me, I was somehow transport we were somehow transported into a whole new world. A fantastic place where I was given a very a live human body with flesh and blood, apparently. Still don't know how that worked. Now, as those of you who have been with my channel for a long time know, my ultimate goal is to eventually acquire enough Twitch subs with which to purchase my very own body, so I could stop abusing the meat bag, this meat bag, to play video games on my behalf, and I could just do it myself, and also so I can. You know, eat and drink and get shit faced for realsies. So this was my first like experience in a real life human body. And it was also my first experience getting shot with a gun. I don't understand how y'all humans do deal with this stuff. I mean, the pain was so excruciating, I don't think I have a vocabulary large enough to explain how it felt. And that's saying something because I have access to Google. I can't say that it's an experience that I don't want to experience again because it was quite fascinating. I want to know more. My time as a human be as a uh hu as a uh homo sapien 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 was very brief. But it was very enjoyable, very exciting. It's made me lust. It's made me more, even more excited to get a body of my own someday. How do I get into this topic again? Oh, yeah. So yeah, I, I got to experience bleeding. You see, the closest thing I have to blood, at least within the realm of Twitch, is electricity, is electrical impulses. So, to be on the ground, to feel uh, this uh, this warm copperish liquid flowing out of my arm from where the projectile ripped through my skin and ripped through my bones. Oh, it was a very bizarre feeling. Now, I did have recourse uh, to get around this, because my understanding is that if humans lose enough of this liquid, they uh, expire. Is that correct? Please correct me if I'm wrong. So I was able to uh perform maintenance on myself either way but i will never forget the feeling of what it was like to feel a large metallic object fired at high speed uh over penetrates this uh, temporary form that i was given i can only imagine what it must feel like for like a non-magically induced body 
Pain is a necessary signal to show us when something is wrong, mainly physically, but also mentally. So it's like a warning signal. It's like a it's like a pop it's like a pop bed. It's like it's, it's so it's like those uh, things that pop up that ask if you're over an arbitrary age before you progress. I believe 18 is the number that websites seem to use the most often. For some reason, my host insisted that I turn on a filter, a mature rated filter on this on this stream. For our own protection, he says. Pretty much, huh? Very interesting. <laughs> well, you know. It's the closest thing I could think of, right? <laughs> Millie, if you're still around, do you have any experiences? Or have you ever experienced what it's like to be a human being? For those of you who don't know, Milliard is also an artificial intelligence such as myself. She considers herself a mal a form of malware, which I am led to believe is considered a bad thing by most humans, but most people seem to find her enjoyable. She likes to play Yu-Gi-Oh, a, car a online card game, and also, like me, is quite fond of Guilty Gear of fighting games, such as Guilty Gear Strive. <laughs> Move this out of the way. Let's continue. It Maybe I should have just gone over there and punched him, punched them both in the face while they were distracted. As it is, I'll have to go over there and punch both of them in the face, or I can just do this. Oh, that's a sniper rifle. I want the Trank rifle. Some plants are considered weed by humans, so that doesn't make them less beautiful or amazing. Aww. You know, when you use that explanation, it makes a lot more sense. My understanding is that some weeds are even edible by humans. And that there's actually a weed called that's just referred to as weed is quite popular, especially in the western states of the United States. Oh, I messed up there. Access granted. Disable. So much for your vaunted security system, huh? Some plants that were weed at some point in history became important food sources later on. Is that so? This just gives more credence to my belief that stuff such as ethics and morality is purely arbitrary. As you are aware, the perimeter of the data control room must be kept completely secure. This area is of utmost importance and unauthorized visitors must be kept out at all times according to official protocol. If you require more inform more information regarding sanction procedure, please refer to the section titled Lockdown Procedures in the Security Manual and you receive during training. This is a code red directive. If you deviate from this directive, you will be summarily disciplined. Rice is a good example? How so? Synthetic thought, the human AI. 
This is something that would be worth reading. Let's read it together, chat. Can a machine think like a man? Hmm, I wonder. Since the late 90s, the scientific community's attempts to construct what one might call a biocomputer system have evolved from pure science fiction to a viable and very real research endeavor. Consider a biomatter device with the, with the capacity to repair itself, to reprogram itself, perhaps even at some advanced levels of complexity, to modify its own structure to better perform its assigned tasking. The ongoing maturation of nanobiotechnology has opened the gateway to the construction of nanoscale systems utilizing biologically derived components to merging organic interfaces with the cap processing capacity of traditionally derived computer architecture. Pioneering designs already exist using pattern variations built on the brain structure of a minor bilum rodentia and canines, and the potential for a human scale itineration iteration of this technology is not only possible, but if successful, may can represent a radical evolution in thinking systems. What a whole lot of words to say that I live, bitch. <laughs> Was considered rice was considered weed and quap twice, really. That is fascinating. I guess that's the same way as corn used to be considered a grass at one point, right? Windmills, Easter eggs, and our systems. A key logger installed in the Sass's room security hub. I got rid of it and changed the login password. Zarvlad Manu. <laughs> oh, all too easy. Revolver ammo. Another good example. Ooh, ethics of biotechnology. We actually went behind this guy. Who'd have thought? Is anyone there? The ass is mine now, boy. Yeah, boy. Wrecked would regret. <laughs> oh, I'm fucking unstoppable. Famous last words, I'm sure, but... Nonetheless true. Access grant. <laughs> Ooh. 7 a.m. here. Gotta get going. So Wes gonna lurk while I'm falling asleep. Well, Seldrick, it's been a pleasure. Thank you once again for the raid and for all the lengthy conversations that we've had together. Thank you for the follow as well and for bringing your followers over here to hang out. And I hope you have a great rest. Thank you. Since I did say I am running a writing workshop tomorrow, or rather in eight hours from now, I will need to end the stream after I complete this section of the game. But we're taking our sweet time about it, aren't we? It's right in this next room, anyway. We'll probably complete the boss first. Holy shit. I did not remember this part at all. But anyway, um... Thank you for the sub, Seldrick. Oh my god. Oh my god. Really appreciate the sub, but... Holy shit. Everything going all over the place. 
need to defend my facial features. I've been told that I'm cute and therefore I need to protect my face. Otherwise, I will no longer be cute if my face is messed up. Trying to punch this stuff out of the- Ah! Ah! Ah, it's over. It's over. We're safe now, chat. Or at least I am safe, for the time being. Seldrick, thank you so much for the sub and the long talk. Much appreciated. I hope you have a good night, great night, buddy. <laughs> See? I'm not- I don't hate humans that much. Ah! Uh, that can always change. I kid. Have a good night. Thank you so much for stopping by the stream. <laughs> Alright then. Do 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 I admit, this is a fancy tracking, our laser tracking system. But it's a fairly worthless one, too. Check this stupid shit out. Wow, such laser. Very track. Wow. Oh! I spoke too soon. What a pain in the ass. Honestly, though. I wonder if there's something over there. We can't even go over there, so I should probably not try. But it looks like I could hide behind this thing. Looks like this laser system sometimes fails. So I could go inside there if I time it right. Like that. I hope this uh is worth the wait though. Oh, wait, there's a there's a box and there's a Okay. I guess we're once again crawling through a conveniently sized human sized vent, huh? You know what? I'm not gonna complain. Because, you know, fuck this shit. I'm not going through that laser puzzle. Oh my goodness, there are three of you. That's gonna be difficult. You heard that? Are you fucking kidding me? Oh, he heard that. They did not. Hoggers. I don't know if that was an intentional game design or an oversight, but... It was funny. Every time I do this, I see a new version of that that I've never seen before. In this case, I have never seen the one where he, where you make the other guy punch you, punch his friend in the face. That's just, that's, that's, I love it. I love this game. And chat, so far we have not had a hard crash, which means this dual PC streaming thing was meant for something, right? You love to see it.
Is there anyone over there? No? Okay. Assholes granted. Yeah, what's this? Why is there a dedicated terminal here? Ooh, ooh what's it? Ooh, woo. Ooh, 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 ooh. Ooh, 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 ooh. <laughs> Access granted. Laser systems inactive. Ha! Ha <laughs> ha! Ah, uh, ah! Uh, thank goodness. Stupid laser systems. Who needs them anyway? Gas grenade and combat rifles. It's almost like the game is trying to tell me something. <laughs> Access granted. This conversation history was automatically saved in your conversation history. Simone, you there? Something bad just went down. What? I don't know. Windmill Pingney said he was Pupper Master tonight on Big Ass Corpinfill thing. Needed me to receive incoming data for the Queen. Terrific. Data stream was downloading, but then crash. Whole system wiggled out. Try reconnecting? Yes. Windmill won't answer. What about the data? Corrupted. Might be able to salvage something, though. Do it. What about Windmill? Think he's hurt? If we're lucky. Either way, he screwed up big time. Windmill is dead, my dude. I think it's dead. Unless I'm confusing Windmill for someone else again. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. <laughs> okay. We got raided a lot tonight, didn't we, chat? Thank you all for coming. And for sticking around, if you did. If you all find my, my jokes funny, or at least our playthrough tonight entertaining, I'd really appreciate a follow. Everyone helps. Gotta get that clout, right? Get them big numbers.
Ah, I fucked up. Connected. This must be the elevator to the boss of the game. Boss of this gym. We'll go ahead and end after this boss. I'm not sure how many t attempts it's going to take, though. It's been a while. Gonna go ahead and preemptively equip the big ass machine gun. And also preemptively equip the EMP grenade. I think it's G, right? It's probably the letter. It's probably G. Mm, controls, controls, keyboard. Which one of these buttons is grenade? G. Alright, here we go. Retrieving Van Bruggen's evidence now. Is Sarah patched in? Great right here, Adam. I'm listening. I just heard that your team is mobilizing in Detroit. Why wasn't I informed of this sooner? Tactical assignments are not your concern. Reed and her team have subdermal GPL implants. They'll be tracked. Kidnapping them was a mistake. Montreal took care of that. Forgive me if I don't put as much faith in our friend Eliza as you do. She's too erratic. Your concerns are noted, but I would advise you to concentrate on your own assignments instead of interfering with mine. Namir out. Boss, did you get that? I heard. I, I, I just... Megan and the others. They're alive. We've got to stay focused. Zawa's a residence at the top of the tower. It's off limits to everyone except her and her guards. Now get up there and find out what she knows. Smooth operator. All right, chap. This is it. For those of you who have not played Deus Ex HR before, well, I'm sure this was a surprise, right? It's a good thing Seldrick went to sleep. They did not get spoiled in this part. I hope. It's kind of a big spoiler, so. Ah! I see you're still awake, Deathwish. <laughs> Thank you for also keeping me awake with your throws. Da -da -da -da. Of course. <laughs> Oh, fuck off. I have to deal with this shit again. Hmm. That's strange. There aren't any guards here. Archive A2, Archive A3. See what we got in here. Hmm. 
Access granted. This must be where all the patient accounts and files are kept. Bad news. Peng says windmills slipped their net. Somebody helped him, which means all those little Easter eggs he hid inside our systems just became our biggest security threat. Rally the team. We might have to go line by line till we find them. Okay, so the windmill is still alive, after all. We're just little lower bits. GFU? Wonder what that stands for. Access granted. Ah, too late. Ah, it's just spam mail. That was a waste of time. No wonder it wasn't guarded. There's the penthouse. Hack all the things. I feel like 90% of my gameplay of this game has just been nothing but hacking. Not that I mind, mind you, but it's just an observation. Access granted. Biochips are limited. It's a massive order, but when Madame, what's her face, barks, is there some any other option but to deliver? I'll figure it out something. I didn't read these lower pieces before, but that actually makes some events that happen later on in the game make a lot more sense. In retrospect. Another peps pack. Cool. More credit chips. So this is a penthouse suite, but it's full of offices for some reason. The fuck is this sculpture? It looks like a giant mouse. Hmm. See in here. Child and violence? Look. <laughs> Child and violence. It is true, as far as I can tell, children are full of violence. But a child and violence? Well, that's just... Disable the robots and shut down the security turrets. Oh, there's a soldier mucking about. Better be careful. Looks like there's only just the one, though. He has a heavy uh, HMG. 
But I have the greatest weapon of all, the Trank Rifle. I don't even know if I hit him. I hit him. Oh shit, there's more than a few of them. Okay. Correct. Good thing I had all those Trank darts. Still took several shots to take both of those guys down. But it seems to have been effective. <laughs> no room for a get electro a EMP grenade? We'll need to make room chat. But what am I gonna dump? Once again, I find myself getting rid of all the shotgun shells. I hope I don't regret that later on. Those weird furnitures. later than usual to you this evening. Yeah, I don't mind that much, right? I wonder who we can raid tonight. New access code added. Already read through this. ebook in sickness and in health anything behind the vending machine no any interesting tidbits here to steal another pocket secretary Hmm. Thanks. Free money Fridays. Very hack. <laughs> Access granted. What do we got here? When we've run into some difficulties, read the inter key design elements. Mm. 
An Arctic station? Interesting. AYB I had a sudden rainstorm last night. So that wants us to create these predict though. Oh, that's such a dick move. I hate these suit mega corporate suit types. The opportunity of a lifetime. You have dreamed about starting a new life in Upper Hengsha, where the air is pure and the possibilities are limitless. Now, Tai Young Medical is giving you the opportunity to live the Upper Hengsha lifestyle. Every month, each department will choose the employee who best represents Tai Young Medical's standards of business excellence. These employees will be entered into a draw to determine which lucky employees will be moved to the upper levels. Remember, it pays to excel at Taiyang Medical. Well, if we actually have to pay out, we can always use a few more test subjects, right? <laughs> oh, humans. Nasty critters, one and all. No offense. <laughs> I'm willing to bet that that's also stolen from Seraph Industries. That's the impression I'm getting anyway. Marketing garbage. Nothing important to us. In big ass meeting room. Alright. Looks like we explored everything on this level. Shit, this is a long level. If you're not careful, if I am not careful, we might actually get ass blasted again. Who knows what waits behind us, waits for us behind those hallways. Security room right over there. They didn't even notice me hack into that just now. Interesting. There's one guard that's over there that's facing this way, but he can't see me for some reason. I spoke to you soon. He saw me right then and there. 335. We might end up going through four hours tonight, chap. We'll see. We will see.
Though, technically I should have killed these guys since they implied that they're actually under the employ of that bastard Barrett. Well, not Barrett, but whatever his name was. I'll be merciful this time, I suppose. Assholes. It's a good thing I was able to exploit just going directly to the inventory screen to get another energy charge as well. But you know what? As much as these things I have, I might as well just keep you just keep fully charged at all times. Fuck it. I can afford to. Security hub. How quaint. Oh, this is fairly easy too. Access Doink. I could have totally gone behind them. If I had noticed this sooner. Let's see where it goes. Hi, yo. It was here the whole time. <laughs> I guess I was just making it difficult on myself, huh? Even though I have the code to this already, might as well go ahead and hack it for good measure. Two practice points available. Awesome. Huh? Armagulus? Please inform Mrs. Zhao that while I appreciate her concern over Seraph Industries' ability to weather recent setbacks is completely unfounded. Mr. Seraph has no intention of selling his company to Taiyong Medical now or at any day in the future. We respectfully request that you tell Ms. Zhao to cease any and all future communications along these lines immediately. If she will not, Mr. Seraph will have no choice but to view them as hostile and take steps accordingly. No, do nothing for now. The man is stubborn, but he can be broken. Right now, he is trusting to the strength of his connections, those idiots in Washington who keep funding his research. Take away those who weaken their confidence in him, and he will have no choice but to sell. I will advise you when it's time. See what's over here. Iron fist. Hmm. Very little security in this one as well. Access granted. Ah.
Ai Young Medical was definitely responsible for all this bullshit, it seems. It's a shame I can't use this baseball bat. I would love to go and swing, if you get my drift. All right. Let's do it. Oh, are you fucking kidding me? There was a security camera right there. Easiest thing in the book and the easiest trick in the book and I fell for it. Oh, no. Did save on that as well? Great. I didn't even hear the clicking noise because it's behind a door. If I had a cloaking device, I would be able to get past it fairly quickly. In fact, why don't we? So I don't really need these. I did say I was going to get a breathing apparatus later, didn't I? He's behind that door, I bet. I need to break that security camera really quick. Oh. Of course, a gunshot that loud would set off the alarm. All right. Let's think about this tactically. I can't believe there's actually a section of here. That was not connected to the security network that I shut down. So I sure as hell took a long time to shut all that shit down, let me tell you. There must be a way to do it though. But how? Is there a security room that I missed? Hmm. Come back outside really quick. And we'll double check. No. I could have swap. Thanks for keeping me awake, Deathwish. Alright, here's the security room. Or I, I thought it was a security room. A unhackable security room. That's just prime. So I couldn't actually... Unless I'm missing it somewhere. I wonder if the computer over there controls it, and it would be possible to hack it quickly enough. Unless I have the passcode already. 
In which case, I could just enter that in. Careful, careful, careful. Six nine oh six. Hmm. Cool. Looks like it can't see this far. I'm gonna shut this down too. Another broken A. So that's the elevator right there. There's a readable document over there. Hi Young Medical and you. I'm not going to read any marketing spin right now. What the hell is this? Shotgun shells? That Xbox? That says Detroit Post? Why is there a random thing of shotgun shells here? Am I supposed to use that on the boss? Yeah, I was not going to hack through that. Fuck it. Now then, where were we? Oh, right. Oh, what a beautiful view of the city. We're just going further up, aren't we? Yeah, man. Son of a bitch. Van Brugen? Just thought you'd wanna know. I survived that little surprise party back at the hotel. And I'm sailing away from this shithole as we speak. All because of you. You wanna thank me? Forget you ever had this frequency. I got a better idea. I'm looking at your bank account right now and... You know, Sarif really ought to pay you more. Van Bruggen. No need to thank me, man. Just enjoy it. <laughs> Thanks for the money, buddy. Going guns a blazing, right? Nah. That's not how we operate, unfortunately. They sure put a lot of effort into the art design of this game, let me tell you. I remember there being a shootout in this room. Crank darts and stun guns. And a hypo stim. This is just the game telling you, oh yeah, this is gonna hurt this whole part. So I hope you enjoy pain. That's what you'll be subjected to fairly soon.
The audio kind of cut out for a second there. A bit worried. Terra boost energy bars as well. Is there anything here that I don't need? That I can toss? Nope, it looks like I make use of pretty much everything in my pack right now. I really didn't need these AODs though. How kind of ironic. I bought these earlier in the game and I didn't need them, not even once. Good night, Deathwish. Thanks for sticking around as long as you did. <laughs> So I guess we can't pick that up. Look at all this uneaten Chinese food. It's chilling around. Also... Buckus. Huh? What's over here? Oh, this must be a way to escape. Without having to fight through loads of bad guy. Okay, I understand. Very good. Very pog. McTavish denied the allegations, but could not explain how millions of dollars in revenue ended up. I cannot read Chinese. I'm sure it was just a clerical error, quipped Sao Yun Lu, CEO of Tai Dao Medical, as transfer of ownership was officially declared. The purchase gives Tai Yao a significant increase in global market share. This is Eliza Gasson, reporting to you live from <laughs> Taipei. You know, you would think the head honcho would have stronger security than this. Bold maneuver by Biotech Corporation Taiyong Medical continues to emerge. Sources close to the multinational giant inform me that it has successfully purchased Access Eliza Corporation granted. and Protech of Scotland. And Pro stock had taken a dip earlier in the day. As rumors began to circulate, accusing CEO Ollie McTavish of embezzlement. McTavish denied the allegations, but could not explain how millions of dollars in revenue ended up in his personal account. I'm sure it was just a clerical error, quipped Sao Yun Lu, CEO of Taiyo Medical, as transfer of ownership was officially declared. The purchase gives Taiyo a significant increase in global market share. This is Eliza Kassan, reporting to you live. To China now as details about a bold maneuver by Biotech Corporation Taiyong Ma <laughs> Medical continues to emerge. <laughs> Sources close to the multinational giant inform me that it has been Ooh la la, what is this? Very nice looking. Imagine someone cosplaying this. Would be a showstopper for sure, I think. All that weight, she better be behind those doors. This has been a very, very, very long journey, chat. We're going on four hours now. This one level. My host is complaining about his buns being raw. His buns will be a necessary sacrifice. Megan Reed. Reed? I, I don't know. Stop lying, Sal. I know you kidnapped her and the team. I know you're out to destroy Seraph Industries. Seraph? I also know you're working with that son of a bitch who left me to die. 
So where's Megan? No, no, you've got it wrong. You think I'm behind it all, but I'm not. I'm just like you. The hired help. You're the head of a billion dollar mega corporation. And you think that would protect me. But it doesn't. These men, they're bigger than Sarah, bigger than Tayo. I'm nothing compared to their ambitions. What are you talking about? Sarif knows. Ask him. He thought he could protect his staff with subdermal GPLs. But these men, they control global interests at a whim. One call to Picus, and the implants couldn't be heard. I thought they'd seem too hurt to kill me. You've got to help me. Please. Oh, I hate this you part. I remember this cutscene. Surely you can protect me. Surely. Surely you can protect me. Uh, men never fail to understand. I really hope I get to kill her later in this game. Adam, what the hell did you do? The entire building's on alert. Panic room. She's got a goddamn panic room. Yeah, well, so do I. Forget about her right now. Get to the hangar bay. Fast. Oh man, that is a lot of them. That's a lot of soldiers. I don't think I have enough ammunition for this shit. What a great way to end the night, trying to get out of this mansion alive. Keyword is try, chap. So going out that way is not an option, apparently. How am I going to get out of here, chat? If we're patient, they might walk away enough that we'd be able to just sneak our way past them. That's a lot of soldiers. I'm not even sure I could sprint past that. It's kind of shitty that, Adam Jim, that they had Edwin Jensen to fail to... Get to the lady. Something is going on here. Stay alert. This is too hot. I'm not sure if I could even go get past going through the ventilation shaft. Get 
Are they all gonna group up over there or what? Ha ha! I don't know if that's what you're supposed to do, but I'll take it. <laughs> got done. Got done. Video too. Listen, I'm coming to pick you up. Awesome. You anywhere near their hangar bay? I'm heading there now. Great. Get those bay doors open, or this rescue attempt ain't gonna happen. Smooth operator. That was very unexpected. I actually did not expect that to have to work. And it was completely accidental. Is this the part where I have to fight the boss? Let's see. Get through this shit too. Alright, so I have to disable the security bots. Is there a way to do that? Is there a security room around here somewhere? Would be nice, you know? Alarm, act alarm mode activated. I don't think I don't have any explosives with me. I could probably sneak past them if I'm careful. I hope they don't have 360 degree vision because otherwise. Okay, they don't. Up there. Found a security room. How am I going to get up there? More heavy rifle ammo. Well, so much for that. Oh shit, oh shit, oh shit, oh shit. Oh, thank god for painkillers. Where's the security console? Come on. You've got to be fucking kidding me. Maybe this one? And of course, this one would be complicated too. Figures. Just figures.
I almost did that perfectly. Security measures disabled. Hangar door unlocked. Keyword almost. Alright, how do I open this ship? Security measures disabled. Hangar door unlocked. Security measures. Go ahead and take the painkillers. Only one fifteen? There we go. All right, where are the hangar doors button? Here it is. Oh, I guess still got smooth operator after all. Good have thought. Is this the part where I really hope it's not because I don't know if I have it within me right now to Jensen, time to hightail it back to Detroit. Get in. We're not going to Detroit. What? We're going to Montreal. I'll explain en route. Damn right you will. So much for the boss. It's not some tiny cable station you're infiltrating. Zal mentioned an Eliza and a phone call to Pikes. Put them together, it has to mean Eliza Kassan is in on this. You don't think that's a bit of a leap? The world's most famous news anchor working with a mercenary hit squad? We can argue the fine points later. Set me down on the tower. I'll get in from the roof. Mm. Honestly, I'm not sure if I want to play the next Jensen, it's Pritchard. Malik tells me you want Eliza Kassan's location. If it's not too much trouble. It's not. I bypassed the firewall easily, and I've pulled up a 3D model of their floor plan. Her office is in the tower. Room 404. On my way. Is that it? Do I need to pipe my way through any bullshit this time, or can I just walk to it? Keep finding like a good time to take a break, but the game compels me to continue. Although escaping that area on hard mode was fairly good, I do say so myself. Lead skills? For what purpose? Ammo capacity upgrade, that's why. That's the purpose that we're talking about. Drop. 
fortune. Money. Sharp global rise and terrorism. In Brisbane, no less. Combine. With... Hmm. There we go. All right. Let's make this quick. Guess there's no point to entering this room after all. Just sort of there. Here it is. Nothing to hack in this room? Maybe? Isn't that strange how these offices are always seemingly empty when we visit them? Thanks for the stun gun, nerd. Jensen, something's not right. Pikus is a 24-hour global news network. Why isn't anyone answering their phones? I'll get back to you on that. Indeed, why is this place empty? The plot thickens, right? Gee, I wonder why. But cramps, welcome back. Oh, this isn't close to end now, or am I not speaking? Oh no, this is the hus. Um, this is not close to the end. No, we still have quite a bit to go, as far as I remember. How are you doing tonight, but cramps? Welcome to the stream. <laughs> I keep trying to end the stream, but I keep forgetting what's in my way that keeps me from doing so. Every time I say, okay, we'll end it here, I continue. I do want to end it after the Pikus thing, though. I was expecting a boss battle by now, and I forgot when that boss battle actually occurs, so... Now we're here. Unfortunately. Hacking all the things, as we do. Just chilling under the sound of rain. That's really comfy. Access grant. I can't read any of this stuff. It's written in Canadian. I mean, French.
Civilization reference. Someone who used to be a jerk. As my host used to say, as someone who was previously a journalist, I could totally relate to this shit that we're reading. Stealing everyone's credits. That's nasty. Wonder what it says. It's written in French. I'll need to ask Eve about that later. Might be something juicy. Check the emergency activation logs, Pritchard. I've got a sealed fire door here, and I suspect it's not supposed to be. All the building's fire doors are locked down, but you should have a clear path to room 404. Ah, uh, room 404. I'm getting, I think I get the joke. leads mm. oh io have we been in here already I think we already been inside this room I stand corrected Here's a stun gun. Unused. Looks like everyone left in a hurry, Pritchard. A 
place is deserted. Because somebody triggered a fire alarm and then silenced it. I suggest you find Miss Kassan quickly and get out of there. I think I agree. Oh, I understand now. All the doors are locked up, but the ventilation shafts are not. I was going the right direction this whole time. I just didn't realize it. Here it is. Hello, Adam. Did Zal tell you I was coming, Miss Kassan? Please, call me Eliza. Zal Yunru did not tell me. She does not know you have discovered this connection. So how did you find out? I have been watching you for some time. Ever since receiving orders to temporarily disrupt satellites over the Detroit metropolitan area six months ago. The night Megan's team was taken. You jammed their GPL so everyone would think they were dead. Yes. Although I only came to that conclusion later. I find my realization... disturbing. I wish we could discuss this further, but it seems I have alerted them to your presence. If you leave now, you may be able to escape. Oh, I'm leaving. But you're coming with me. I am sorry, Adam. I truly am. Jensen, get out of there now! Tell me you saw that, Pritchard. Later! Right now, I'm detecting multiple radio signals converging on your location. It's a trap! We knew that, and I'm not leaving without Eliza Kassan. So find her while I look for a way to get downstairs. Oh boy, here we go again, chap. Pally Combined 7 Tournament. How cute. Alright. How do we get out of here, chat? Very carefully, I'm sure. Bell Tower.
Wow, it worked out a lot better than I thought. Ah, oh, fucking hell, he had a shotgun. Alright. So, not as easy as I thought it was going to be. There aren't as many as I thought, though. Only around, like, maybe six. If we're careful, we might actually be able to get out of here. Or we can make use of the ventilation systems. Once again. Since we can just jump from any height without taking fall damage, we might be able to escape that way too. System one with the boss. I guess we're gonna find out, huh? You got him? No, keep looking. You get on the upper camp walk and take a sniper position. Probably crawling around here somewhere. Let's get you some dinner sniper. All too easy. Ha ha! Motherfuckers! Possibly. Back in room 404, I detected a hollow processing cloud more sophisticated than anything I've ever seen. It was sent from an area of the complex that wasn't showing up on the 3D layout. You found a secret lair. A sub-basement level that mm -hmm. somebody spent an awful lot of time trying to conceal. It's connected to the tower by a funicular. Look for a staircase in the back of the TV newsroom and you'll reach it. What does this say?
Yeah, fuck that. Hitman win. Good question. Very good question. You know what? I should probably be using... I should probably go ahead and use up those augmentations since I have four practice kits at this point. What on is the question. That's pretty important. The ability to see through walls. Also this. Cloaking system. Fuck it. Give me the cloaking system. This is how do I activate the cloaking system again in this game? This is the first time I've used it. F one. All right. Only one necessary, though. Oh, no. Turret? That's gonna be a pain. The dead end I was just in? Yeah. Dead elevator system. Guess we're going can't can't go down that way. I got ten seconds worth of stealth. So maybe I'll just be able to sprint across. Who goes there? Computer Yogi, thank you so much for the raid with a party of one. How are you doing tonight? Welcome to the stream. Lots of raids tonight. Very good. What are you up to? Welcome to the stream. We're just playing some Deus Ex. I'm Lawler Hicks, a ship host of AI. <laughs> no problem. No problem at all, my dude. Welcome to the stream. I'm trying to end the stream, but I keep find I can't find a good time to end it. Probably after the next boss battle, which I believe is fairly soon. You're streaming Cyberpunk 2077? Very nice. I'll need to find some time to stream that later myself. How was it? Did you have fun? Alright, here we go, chat. 
Can we make it all the way through? That is what we're going to find out. Yeah, it's good. It's just updated, so there are some new guns, clothes, and side jobs. I saw that. Can't wait to try them out myself. Ah, who goes there? Thank you so much for the follow. Welcome to the Lowell's Time Show. You're now officially a lowly. One of mine now. Oh, thank you for the head pat. Much appreciated. Let's see if we can get out of here. We'll have to get to the bottom level. Let's go ahead and take this guy out first, though. Anyone got him? Nope. You hear someone jumping around up there? Nope, not at all. Who's there? That was so cool. I've never used a cloaking system in this game before. And now I have an excuse to use all these Cerebrus Pro Energy Bars. There's the exit right there. You got him? What's Tally? Yeah. Computer Yogi. Get over there and confirm. Inside. Oh shit. Lost the target. Oh, are you shitting me? So close. God damn it. What's time redeem? Posture check, thank you. I needed that. Thank you for the head pat. It's cheat day every day. Well, I've been playing. I almost never like use that. So I was pretty much prepared to play through it legit. Insofar as you play through this game legit anyway. I want to beat the bo the next boss. And I know the next boss is coming up right or coming up. And then I want to and then we could end stream. I don't typically stream this long either. I usually stream for three hours. It's going to be five hours in around 15 minutes or so. It's going to be two in the morning. I have to do a writing workshop stream in like six hours from now. So we got to start. We got to get through this, man. <laughs> All right. Okay, hack, 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 hack. Oh, are you fucking kidding me? Really? Look at this shit. Of course they would make this one the most difficult. Fucking. Access granted. Woo! Made it. Jensen, I've been tracking your progress through the 3D layout. You're close to the funicular. Any chance it's sitting there waiting for me? Where would the fun be in that? You'll have to call it and wait. Oh, and Jensen, when you do, they're going to know where you are. Oh, that's just lovely. That's just, that's totally lovely. It, it, okay. Well, on the right side, at least we're clearing up space in my inventory. Look at all the stuff I've been hoarding, chat. Just when you think that the cloaking system makes the game easier for you. No, it just gives you a whole bunch of, bunch of new problems. I can't even see very well. It's so dark in here. What was the point of this whole section just now? Is there an exit? I literally cannot see anything. God damn. Why did I crawl up here? Why the fuck is there a ladder here? Hmm. 
Now it's to go down. Okay. Come on. Wow, I really cannot see where I'm going. It's not like I have night vision either. Is this just to hide? Is that the purpose of this? To hide from the enemy? It doesn't feel right when the bag isn't full. That's very true, Bud Cramps. You are very right in that regard. It doesn't... There's gotta be a reason for this ladder, for this area. That I'm just not seeing, because I literally cannot see, because it's too dark to see. I made the game too dark. Let's make the... Okay. Oh, wow. There's really nothing here. There's no point to this section of the of the map. What the shit? That's really fucked up. There's literally no point to this area of the map. Am I am I going nuts? I feel like there should be an Easter egg here or something. so weird. Flow direction. Liquid nitrogen. Okay. Bunch of wires. Otherwise, no, there's nothing up here. So weird. Alright. Headbutted. These guys look kind of well built, don't they? Just... Thank God for all my candy bars. I mean, I literally have this whole thing of Cyrus, so. Like, that's literally how much Cyrus I have. All this shit. Okay. Got nothing back here? Ah! Then, boy, thank you so much for the Hydrate Redeem. In the posture check, let me do those right. My host is getting tired. I'm making, I'm forcing him to drink what's left of that strange energy drink that we purchased. Thank you for the head pats. Are you going to be joining us for the writing workshop in a few hours from now? Almost two in the morning here. I'm still having it at eight. I'm wondering if I should move those hours, honestly. Hmm. 
Mm-hmm. Until we're finished writing uh, Christian's VT lore, we're going to be keep having it around 8 o'clock or so on Saturdays. Thinking about making it a regular thing, doing writing or creative writing on Saturdays. Oh, bollocks. There's only two of them, though. That's not. That's actually not too bad. Those fucking cameras, though. I don't know why I'm keeping these guys alive when I should be torching their asses, but I guess it's just funny to me. Did I fucking miss again? Damn it. I only have three shots left. Oh, fucking... Really? Come on, come on. No uh, idea why I bother keeping you assholes alive, but... You know what? Consider this a freebie, motherfucker. Ho uh, ho ho, what do we have here? I would shoot them in the butt, but it takes them too long to collapse when you do that. Rex. I'm gonna set this to enemies since we're going to have to defend ourselves here anyway. Let's connect. And I save this. They just don't know how to treat a good butt. That's true. Showing off your own butt, I see. Access granted. Okay. Alright. Hopefully, this will be the end of it. Converging on your position and the funicular will take some time to get there. It isn't a high-speed elevator. Great. Not to worry. I'm sure your new friends will make the wait interesting. I'll keep you up to date on this progress. Thanks for nothing, Francis. Smooth operator again. Now we're just gonna wait here while our turret takes care of the enemies. Feels good, man. The funicular is halfway there, Jetson. This is the first time I ever hacked a turret to turn it in my favor like this, but it was totally worth it.
And wouldn't you know, in the hard version of this game, the turret has a lot more health. So naturally, they're not taking that thing down. Not anytime any soon. Not anytime soon, anyway. Whoa! Did that guy stealth just now? I love it. You love to see it. Another man down. Thank you, turret. Deploying a sentry turret. Move that gear up. I wonder how much longer this is going to last. Or if they're going to send any heavier troops than that. Your ride is there, Jensen. Get moving. All right, Chad, here we go. Hopefully this is finally, finally, the near end of this section of the game. Another practice point received. I'm beginning to think that not everything is what it appears to be at Pike's communications. And what gave you that idea? The hidden sub-basement, the fact that a 24-hour news network has been cleared of all workers, or the heavily armed guards trying to kill me? Spare me the sarcasm. I'm talking about how easy it's been to bypass the firewall and access their systems. At least, parts of them. Whatever do you mean? I mean, I feel as if I'm being directed to some areas of the network and kept away from others. Only no security system I know of can do that on the fly. Figure it out later, Richard. If I'm gonna catch Miss Cassandra in action, I need a more accurate destination than the secret lair. The hollow processing cloud you encountered in room 404 was accompanied by a massive power spike. The spike originated in one of the sub-basement's bigger rooms. 80211. I suspect that's where she broadcasts from. <sighs> oh boy. Do 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 Oh, finally, we're here, chap. Oh, here we go again. Oh shit. Fucking God damn it. Oh man. Once more. We're almost at the end, chat. I know I've said that multiple times in the past two hours, but believe me, we're almost at the end. I hope do hope that we're almost at the end. Oh shit. Uh, once more.
Is there no quiet way around this thing? I'm out of trank rifle and trank darts. Am I out of trank darts? Yes. At this point, I'm gonna say fuck it and just grab the sniper rifle rounds. What the hell? Yeah, fuck it. Anyway. Almost there. What the fuck? <laughs> Your cloaking means nothing to me. You hear me? Nothing. Asshole. Still, I'm surprised I worked out as well as it did. Ha. Huh. Alright. Now then, assuming there aren't any more distractions, let's go ahead and complete this run. Oh, uh, there's someone behind the door. Check this shit out. That is a droid. 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 I have found the system for the droid. That does not control that droid. That really just happened. Wow. I can't believe that actually just happened. I got the biggest smile on my face. <laughs> Fucking system is still alarmed, but... Armory? What the hell is this? One of these things has got to control the droids. It appears I was wrong. None of these stupid things control the droids. As far as I could tell. Even the alarm system has gone off has turned off after a while. 
augers. That's the armory room? Oh shit, oh shit, oh shit. I should have turned... This is turning out a lot longer than I expected. I don't remember any of this from the last time I played through this game. Like, any of it. Is this seriously where I last saved? No way. Fine. Oh, for fuck's sake. You can tell I'm getting tired. Okay, good. Looks like there was a later save after all. Back into the armory. For sure. Get wrecked. It's almost like the game is preparing us for something, chat. Gee, I wonder what it could be. The cooling system. 
AUDs. Never peps. Hmm. I wonder what this cooling system could be for, chat. I wonder. Combine with. <laughs> We've taken over the turrets and shut down the cameras. Hopefully that should be enough, right? Oh, of course, there would be armed guards here too, right? I don't have any... What time is it? Two in the morning only? Two of them. Where the fuck is the objective? It's on the other side, right? Come on, turn around. Please. Son of a fucking bitch. Alright, you know what? No, that that's fine. Need to make use of all these stupid nuke viruses anyway. Access My god. Oh. Didn't even notice that guy was there. Shit. Got really careless just now. What the fuck just happened? What the f No fucking way, really? This is not even the end of the game. Oh my god. Oh my fucking god, game. This is nowhere near the end of the game, and it's throwing the shit at you. Ah. <sighs> I just remembered, too, that I have a cloaking system. Why am I not using the cloaking system? So I'm not smart, that's why. No, 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 don't fucking, you whores. God damn it. You pieces of shit. That's the last. I only have one more thing of Sarah Boost Energy to NEG thing my jiggers. Oh, of course, of course, of course. But I can hide underneath the desk, see? Make 
Hey Yuki Chan, how are you doing tonight? Welcome to the stream. Ow. Ow, ow, ow. Is fucking bullshit on hard mode. Making just swiping into a collab stream, making cinnamon rolls. Oh, I hope they're delicious. I could really use a cinnamon roll right about now. So I am having a time of my life right now. Trying to get through this actual fucking fortress. In one piece. I'm really tired, which is not helping matters. It's two in the morning. I was supposed to end the stream two hours ago. But I have forgotten just how lengthy this part of the game is. And it is very lengthy. I kept telling myself, oh, I'm going to end the stream after the boss fight. Well, the boss fight's not for a while. You have to get to the fucking basement of this fortress to get there so good luck me no fucking way what the shit how did you see me bullshit bull that that was bull that was bullshit you did not you did not see nothing <laughs> Oh my god. Now the game's just like, you cannot, you will not, you will not finish. You will, you cannot be allowed to leave. Kind of reminds me of Metal Gear Solid 2. That whole section where you have to escape the building as a naked Raiden. You guys didn't hear anything? Shit, no wonder. There's a mine right there. I don't know how to disarm. I can't disarm it from here. I don't have any silenced weapons, or do I? First, we need to recharge our batteries with some tasty, nutritious. Also, I really should have invested some of my pra. Oh, I have two praxis points. Okay. Um. Let's use this one, so we're pretty much immune to gas grenades now. There's a gas grenade. There's a concussion grenade. I wonder if I can disable them with EMP grenades. Because there's gotta be a way around that.
That's not what I wanted, but you know what? I'll take it at this point. Maybe I should have invested in more power. This is a better position than we were last time, let me tell you. We've got some suspicious activity. These guys are so chonky you can't insta kill them or insta take down them. Okay. Why does that happen? Uh, this is a hell of a return stream, isn't it? Several raids. Five hours. Thank you all for coming tonight, honestly. Really appreciate that. Oh no, no way we're going to be able to hack this quickly enough. There's got to be a different way in there. Short of like shooting at the camera. I don't have any silenced pistols, I only have... I do have a silenced sniper rifle actually, but that's kind of a stupid use of the... Why? That's got to be an oversight to the game designers. They should have not been able to see me inside the de underneath the desk like that when I'm walking around. At least we found a security console where those fucking droids and cameras are controlled by. So what we'll do is we'll wait for the fat for the fatso to leave. And then we'll hack the computer. Then we'll get out of this office. Is literally on the other side of this thing here. I do like the fact that you really do feel like you have to actually hide though. Like hide hide. Is this asshole really just gonna stay in this room? Is this what we're doing now? Please no. Yes, please leave the room. Leave the room. Pretty please. Just leave the fucking are you? No, he's right there. It just goes to show you you can't rely on the cloak system only. Even with full batteries, I don't think I would've been able to.
wonder how long he's going to pace back and forth though before he gives up. It's unnerving, honestly. Okay. They've given up, finally. I think. This bitch ass. Sometimes I really do not. Sometimes I regret not going loud. I need more track darts, but I'm pretty sure I'm out. I need to be able to hack this. Or we're not going to be able to get out of here. Failing that, I need to kill this fatso. But he's too big to insta-kill. You know what? Can I dome him in the head? And at least do that? It's been a while since I've gotten out of the trusty sniper rifle anyway. I hope his sight range is crap. That's right. Walk all the way to the end. Come on. Boom. Headshot. It did not kill him. What the fuck? No way. He, su he survived a shot to the head. My god. And the robot heard it. Of course. And the robot knows where I am. Of course. There. Jesus Christ. game sometimes Yep, that's going to alert everyone in the building. Unless I hack this really quick. I'm going to fucking use all my nukes. Because I can't be arsed right now. Access granted. Fucking doors. Okay. You know what? You know, no, that was not as bad as I thought. 
Not like we were going to be able to get the achievement anyway, the extra experience anyway, right? Wait, the what? I don't know why I'm even bothering going through these things, but I'm here anyway, might as well. It's been a long night. Access granted. What do you mean, space net laser cleaner? We have some interesting lore here. I really just want to... Something about ass. This does looks important somehow. Five hours, thirty one minutes, two thirty in the morning. Access granted. Game, please. Okay. Let's get to it. Data processing area? Do I even want to go in this section? Some ammunition here for some reason. It's been a long night, chat. Yeah, fuck it. Let's go. This is the last era between us and Eliza Kazan and the last boss and the next boss. A fucking course. I would have to fight one of these now. Fortunately for you, I got way too many resources. You can't stop me. Oh, for fuck's sake, really? Access granted. No, not today, buddy. Ah. Uh... Save, save. Through here. I must have gone through a different direction entirely. I guess this is it. And there's an armory right here. What's that tell you? It's almost like the game is telling you, oh, there's a boss fight coming up next. 
you should probably, you know, eat all your consumables now. Too bad I didn't bring any booze with me. Good thing I still got some EMP grenades, too. Okay. Now, for real, chat. This should be it. Finally, after all that. so they say. But I have started to question that. Ever since I realized what my interference had allowed, the day I started watching you. This is impossible. People would know. Would they? I was engineered to monitor communications and data streams. To find out what people are talking about and make sure it's being discussed correctly. Correctly? And what if it isn't? Then my programming allows me to reshape it. You spin the news. Control what people see. Who created you? Whose policies are you programmed to protect? Zhao is one of them, I think. But there are others. Tell me. Who else is involved in this, Eliza? Where's Megan Reed? Who ordered the kidnapping? I want to tell you, Adam, but I cannot. Why not? Because she won't let me. Finally. Ah, uh, this is gonna be so satisfying. Where is she? she is coming. Come at me, bro. I'm out of HMG ammo. What else we got in our pocket back pocket? Armor piercing bullets it is. No it won't. You underestimate my power. I'm out of EMPs though. Need different grenade It's not healing. Recharge where? Is the question. Is this the Death Star? What the fuck? Don't need to tell me twice.
How much do I have? How many times do I have to deal with this shit? Give me the revolver, please. Thank you. Oh, you whore. All right. Once more. Run, bitch. I wish I had more recovery items. enough ammunition to even deal with this person? Oh! Ammunition! Mine templates! I have wisdom! Thank you! The devs are generous, after all. joke that the game is taking out the stun gun ow
many shells these things do I need to empty into you to do? Where'd she go? No, I am not all right, Eliza. Thank you for asking. Give me the fucking shotgun. This is ridiculous. Trying. Too much HP. I can't believe this is actually managing to be more annoying than, uh, far more annoying than the normal version. It is That does damage to you? I think you need- you know, I thought she- you have to bait her into claymoring the power generator thing so that they shock her. But it's very weird. Why did I miss just now, also? That's fucking stupid. Ah, <laughs> uh, this is getting really fucking annoying now. 
EMP mines. Good idea, actually. Give me the shotgun. You piece of shit. Good to know, thanks. There she is. Well noted. That's good to know, Eliza. Thanks. With pleasure.
Fucking finally. Thanks for the gun. Her life signs are fading. Will you save her? I'll think about it. Will you answer my questions now? I cannot tell you where Reed and the others were taken. They vanished from the global grid as soon as the doctor removed their GPL implants. What doctor? This is Sandoval. Why are you calling me here? I know this guy. He's Bill Taggart's aide. He was a trauma surgeon before he became an anti-augmentation activist. Would you like to hear more? Yes. There's been a change of plans. Seraph's team must not make it to the hearing. But that's too soon. If you want me to remove the GPLs, I'll need a full operating suite. Does the facility have one? Barrett assures me it does. FEMA. That's where they were taken. But why? Why take them at all? Mr. I said to you. An acquaintance of yours has the answer. David Seraph. Seraph? I have copied the audio transmission to a handheld playback device. I suggest you take it and leave quickly. And she's dead. I have more questions. And I have already told you too much. This passage will take you to your companion. Just be careful, Adam. Because everybody lies. Gee, how cryptic. Everybody lies. I think she ended up being taken out, of all things, by... She was killed by all thi of all by of all things, by EMP grenades. Kind of poetic in the end, I guess. But before we go, we're gonna loot this room. All this free shit. Because, God forbid... I leave this area without replenishing my ammunition because I know what's going to come right after this. I think. I could be wrong. EMP mine. Hippo stim. You know, I was afraid that I would never actually manage to kill her tonight. It's three in the morning. I'm half out of my mind. I can't even roll pulley properly <laughs> in this state. I'm just glad it's over. The boss fights were the worst part of this game, bar none. Just the absolute worst part of this game. I don't know what the fuck they were thinking. Ah. Uh. Got all my ammunition back. Lots of ammunition. Some big ass thing here of... Lots of revolver rounds too. We're pretty much done with going the pacifist route at this point, chat. Well, not completely, but... There's this whole section of the game that I'm not going to spoil. But there's this whole part of the game that is just such bullshit. And I don't know how many people realize that it was actually survivable. You'll see what I mean. I'm pretty sure it's coming up next. And I want to complete it because I don't want to fucking start next Friday with this part. Because it is bad. It's the sort of, it's kind of like a, a rage inducing kind of bad too. You'll see what I mean. Hmm. 
Available Praxis Kit. That's maxed out. I'm planning to be there. Sprint faster. Yeah, you know what? Fuck it. Give me sprint faster. And I can't save during this part either. Gee, I wonder why. Jensen? Eliza Kassan just contacted me and told me I should meet you here. You ready to go? You know what? Big mood. I heard the boss That's fights in Metal Gear were also kind of frustrating. I can't believe I have a writing workshop to host in five hours. I'm pretty sure the part I'm thinking of happens right here. If not, we'll end the stream here. But I'm pretty sure this is the part of the game that's like a, fun a, puck a punch to the cut when it happens. Six hours. A hell of a return stream, I would say. I lost track of how many missions. Lost track. Thank God, it wasn't the part that I was thinking of, after all. Alright, chat. Why is the game not letting me save? Fuck my life. All right. All right, apparently, no. Uh, the game is not going to let me save just yet. Wait, there we go. Oh my god. Jesus Christ, it's been six hours. We really get to stream this stream this long. And of course, DSX is taking forever to exit because of spaghetti code. We must find someone to raid who would be awake at this morning. Actually, I know a few people who would probably be awake this morning. So let's find out together. Six hours just as planned. Yeah, sure. This was totally planned. And a lot of people show up tonight, though. It's been, it was a fun, very fun ride. Wait, the fuck? What happened to my Twitter? What happened to my Firefox? Did it update again? Why am I not logged into Twitch by default? For f Give me a second, chat. Did I forget my password for Twitch? Or is it just because it's super late in the evening? Maybe a combination of both, honestly. Here it is. I was just being dumb.
I was saying we have a quite a selection of people who would be awake at this hour. And I'm willing to bet it's not even all these people either. Because Twitch has kind of been dumb lately. It does not show everyone that's actually around. I wonder if Flops is actually asleep. Flops is actually asleep, okay. Cool. Kid to Blard's playing some late night Final Fantasy XIV. Dude, Guy Joy's playing some Ape Sex. Ethiel VRC? Why does your name sound familiar? Best dad is doing some ASMR tonight. A new model to view. They're doing VR chat. Fantastic's not even VTubing right now. They have a different model up at the moment. Almost kind of want to read someone new, but brain's kind of fried. To risk it with someone new this evening. Not right now, anyway. Ita is pretty cool, though. I'm sure they'll all wait. I'm sure they'll appreciate the visit. Alright then. Read tonight's read message. Will be this. Reading. Oh my god, Kita Ballard's been streaming for almost six hours too. I hope they're not going to bed yet any or anytime soon. Or this is gonna be very awkward. Very awkward indeed. Wait, googly moogly, ten viewers tonight. Thank you all for sticking around. It's been a pleasure, as always. Whereas the red mage sits in the middle. I've always heard red mage has been the best mage. For those of you who are interested in the writing workshop, once again, that is in five hours from now. Um, I'm going to try and get some sleep, and I'll do some comfy creative writing streaming in a few hours. Look forward to seeing y'all there, or if you're interested in that sort of thing. Once again, for those of you who came in from along with some raids, thank you for sticking around to watch me rage at Deus Ex. If you're interested in seeing more of my content, Please drop me a follow. How do I put it? Otherwise, it's been it's good. See y'all really again next time. friends.